for them. We we don't know how much breath Rob has now. That could have been important information. If he wants to test his VO2 point. max, he can go to a private hospital and pay them $1,500 for the privilege to figure out how good his body is, okay? What the Christ hey. is a VO2 The VO2 max? max is the volume of oxygen that you can get into your lungs. The VO2 max sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It's pretty much <laughs> awesome. like a human vacuum. Do you remember the time when the two of us had a competition for how long we could go... Yeah, I do. <laughs> we did that for uh, like 10 minutes on stream one time. It was good. I like People that. People loved it. What game we were playing. Was it Terraria? It, it was something 2D. Mm. I think it was Terraria, it wasn't it? Could have been Terraria. Yeah. It was Ed Helms? Is that what you said? It was, it was Ed Helms, the game. <laughs> okay. How good. long do you think you could hold your breath for? Uh, I used to do it a lot when I was younger. Seconds. Yeah, I'm on the mix level. Long. I'm thinking 25 <laughs> seconds. I used to do, you know, when you're a kid, you got nothing better to do before the internet was invented. Yeah. Hold your breath. I was like a 25 to 40 second guy. Yeah. I broke yeah. a minute once under the water in a pool, and I was really proud of myself, but, like, that I have no lung capacity at all now. Yeah. I was on a swim team, and that's a very common competition when mm. you're on a swim uh. team, is all you can hold your breath. I think I did about, like, 80 seconds, 90 seconds. That seems like, like a very, very long time. Yeah, I mean, and also a skill that is completely irrelevant. Yeah, unless you're David. Blaine. <laughs> if you're I, uh... like drowning in a ship, it might save your life, actually. Yeah, or you know, you could just like die later. You ever see Dunkirk? <laughs> what a great argument that was. <laughs> I don't mean like 80 years later. I mean like 80 seconds later. Are you kidding me? I don't mean that you would like. You know, the fabric of reality. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't right. mean like you would survive the ship and then. 20 years later, you get hit by a bus. I just mean, What like... I want to talk about is entropy and things concerning the fabric of reality. Uh, so when I was younger, I used to, whenever someone would go underwater in a movie, I yeah. would hold my breath. Mm. Oh, did you try it on Alien Resurrection? Because you'd die. <laughs> Dude, they do spend so a lot of time movies. down there. Yeah, there's they so many like movies where it's like, there's no way. There's no way. They could have gotten right abs away. in that amount of time. Extremely important to bring up. Okay. You've seen Alien Resurrection, Austin? What? No. You said it's no, like they're underwater for like six I minutes. Meant, and like I was... most movies. Oh, most okay. Uh, yeah. I've seen Aliens. If you've seen Alien Resurrection, you haven't seen literally every other film in the franchise. Something went wrong. <laughs> I saw Aliens vs. Predators. Oh, no. I stole Austin. <laughs> Wait, they have an Austin character now? Oh, yeah, they have an Austin. that's dope. There's an Armello character. It. That's cool. Yeah, Aliens is the right one to see. Alien and Aliens. Alien versus yes. Predator, not, oh, you know, great, but life could, goes on. Like, honestly, you could kind of skip every other one, too, besides Alien and Aliens. So, I have a very, very mildly controversial opinion. Ooh! I like mildly controversial. I think Prometheus is very bad, but right. I think that Alien Covenant is only sort of bad. Mm. I, I've I was seen gonna it. watch it, but I couldn't find anywhere to watch it yet. Oh, yeah. Try uh, <laughs> taking a flight about uh, eight months ago. That's when I oh. I found the access. It wasn't on like any services that I have, so I was just like, all right, maybe later. Services, he says. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, watch movies. Video? I got three of them. It watch, be watch movies online, dot free. <laughs> Don't go to this site without your ad blocker on. <laughs> I, uh... Guys so, actually, I have a controversial opinion. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this one's this one is gonna make the the Star Wars nerds real mad at uh -oh. me. I said it on Twitter yesterday. I saw Solo yesterday. Mm. Yes. I think it's better than Rogue One. Just straight up. I don't think it's gonna make nerds mad. Oh, I mean, it got like, you'll see. It got like an 80 something on Rotten Tomatoes. I, I thought, think it like, was the, the opinions that I saw were like, Solo's fun. Yeah, it was it was good, and I think it was legitimately a better movie than Rogue One. And Ryan, I think you underestimate how easily nerds get mad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Fair now, point. I'm, I'm like a third order nerd. Have see, you I been didn't on say. Instagram lately? <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's a Kelly Marie Tran reference? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I picked it up. Mm -hmm. I'm more. I get mad about the people who get mad that she was nice. Mad. Why are people mean to her? <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand. You don't know. Like, don't tell you this the wrong way. You don't know. Yeah, she, she should be evil. She could be a piece of garbage, but her character <laughs> was a her nice. Her character lady. was fine. <laughs> her character was incredibly stupid at one point in the movie. Oh, oh yeah. Did, 
Like, I'm not gonna go on her- Of all the things! Like, I'm a bully her, but... And it's not her character's fault, it's the writer's fault. Mm. So it's not her fault. Well, I her personally character thought... also does not exist. So it right, can't right. be her fault. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just like trying to rationalize 0.1% of this, I guess. You'll yeah. be nice to her. I'm, I'm not mean. I'm a very nice person. Oh, you vice. I, uh, I just want to say, I think that there was another character in that film particularly that was way more inconsequential than, uh, than Rose. Darth Vader. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, Darth Vader. He didn't even appear in the movie. <laughs> I know, it's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. What are they doing, Disney? Um, but yeah. I don't, we also, uh, saw, um, I Don't Feel So Good. So, that was good. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Is that a movie? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. yeah. I you actually like it. thought it was gonna be, like, a Blumhouse horror movie. <laughs> and I had already concocted the plot in my head. There's like, you know, these people are in high school together. Every once in a while, one of them just goes, I don't feel so good. And then they turn into a monster and nobody knows what's going on. And then, yeah, yeah. Play like that know. game Deceit. Exactly yeah. true. Where nobody knows what's going, <laughs> on, what's going and on. And then it just kind of ends. Occasionally there's murder. <laughs> and uh, Dan says pumpkin scrubs. It's still really mm -hmm. popular on YouTube for some reason. But, mm -hmm. oh, come on. Daddy's spatial awareness is not very strong. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I only do it because it makes you feel weird. On it. <laughs> do you see that yeah, guy yeah. Uh, on Twitter whose thing is that he's seen Infinity War like 58 times now? Why? Yeah. Is that the guy that was seeing it every day? Yeah. What a yeah. horrible waste of time. <laughs> Literally I'm any movie. So, I'm so happy that you are gonna join me in this level of cynicism here. Because when I saw oh, that he'd course. seen it like eight times in a row, I was like, you know, he's really excited for it. That's Who's fine. defending that? Well, yeah. I don't know. I just thought, you know, we'd get into this let people live their lives business that I don't respect. But it turns <laughs> out that instead we're all gonna be on the same page here, and I'm very happy. Oh, uh, I think at at seven times like watching it for a full week i think it's a little excessive but you know man's if do you're it like a again. die hard fan i'd be like all right, right. like yeah, I, yeah. I i i would not do it but i understand i guess yeah but then He's i think watched... it's, you just hit inertia at some point right it's like well i told you an anecdote about how i was gonna get to level 99 in kingdom hearts on the starting island by just bouncing waka's ball back oh, to him with the keyblade over and over or with the stick yeah and then after doing it for like three hours i was like this is gonna take like a thousand hours yeah and it yeah. sucks and it's boring um oh lord well i guess i won't be able to see where my things are anymore so my mistake and i have uh, uh, wizarded out i have also wizarded out yeah I was just like, you know, at some point, he's just like, that's his thing. Like, if he stops, his whole identity is going to collapse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's watched <laughs> Infinity <laughs> War more times in the space of two or three months than I've seen Pulp Fiction in my entire life, and that's pretty much my favorite movie. Well, I, don't... I do just want to mention someone in my chat says, says the Binding of Isaac, dude, which I think is very fitting. Uh, yeah, well, hey, this will blow your mind. You know, a lot of people spend like <laughs> seven hours a day at a job. <laughs> You're gonna make fun of the Infinity War guy, and you you do your job seven hours hey, a day, 365 Maybe. days a year. Hey, I'm just saying, at your job, you're talking about Infinity War guy. So <laughs> That's maybe he can get some sponsored deals off of this uh, Twitter <laughs> world. What? That. He needs some sponsored deals to pay for the movie Wait tickets, man. If this yeah. logic follows, then you're saying that Infinity War guy and working guy are the same guy. Well, did you ever notice that some of you shills drink fluids? You've, you've drank <laughs> fluids okay. 58 Wait, so days in a row. So you're actually talking yourself down when you diss Infinity War guy. No, no, no I'm not. I'm not dissing him. I'm just saying it's an extreme waste of time. He can do what he wants to with his time in the end. But like, I just, I, you know, I feel like it's like an Iron Man streak. You know, where like Cal Ripken Jr. played like a thousand baseball games in a row without losing yeah. a man game no. injury. Like, what happened? Is this guy going to have a situation like that? Like, what happens between when it leaves theaters ah. and when the Blu-ray comes out? Like, is he going to yeah. have to... I don't know what you do in that situation. He's he gonna finds to... somebody to get a screener from. That's it for your consideration of the Academy Awards or something. Right. I'm sure you can... If you know the right people, you can get one of the screener DVDs that's just got the words in black written on it. Mm -hmm. They're so rare, but you can find them. Good related. 
spring here. What is the movie you think you've seen the most, or like that you could guess you've seen the most? Well, I just oh, answered. That. Hard. And how what many was? times do you think you've seen it? Yeah. Probably about 50 times on Pulp Fiction. You've seen Pulp Fiction 50 times? 50 times? I've probably seen Over Pulp the course Fiction of my 50 life, times, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's wow. like twice a year for every year that you're legally allowed to watch that movie. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> it is it's kind of a lot. I still haven't seen it. Okay, Dude. now that's mad. Nick, you should give on. one of your... I, you, you I, know, I will happily. <laughs> I don't need to hold on to him. You know God where damn I've, it! Where I've actually seen the movie or not seen it was the fucking Scripture script reading, reading yeah. that we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should see Pulp Fiction. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's like a really, really good movie. I've heard yeah. I need Malf to validate me that that's not actually that many times. 50 I times feel like is not that many times. He's that is, probably seen some movie dozens and dozens more times. 50 times is a lot. No, I mean, like, not really. It's a couple of, couple of times a year. Seems For reasonable. For your whole life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I probably started watching it when I was, like, 13 or something, yeah, so it wasn't my whole bad. life. I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I know what movie I've seen the most. It's absolutely Star Wars, or sorry, Austin Powers 2, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was, yeah, like, I mean, one summer... It, like, three times? <laughs> no, one summer vacation, there was, like, two weeks where I watched it every day. Oh, yeah, day. I remember. So it's, like, I've probably seen it 20 times in my life. But that required yeah. a sustained burst of psychosis as a 14-year-old, yeah. where I was like, I'm going to see this every day. I'm going to be the Austin Powers guy on Twitter. Yeah, you were almost that guy. <laughs> you must so, respect that, then. I mean, I've watched Die Hard, like, probably at least once a year for every year in my life. You watched Die likely. Hard when you were zero? I, well, well, I'm, I'm saying that is the number that I would give, because... Uh, I pro I've watched Die Hard multiple times in single years, several times. Mm. If his mother watched it while he was in the womb, does that count as your zero? <laughs> Ooh, I think it does. Have you ever watched counting... a movie and then watched it again right after it finished? Yes. I, I don't think I've done that. I wouldn't do that. I, I can't do that. I don't think I could do that, even. I did it I've one done it time. A long time. And I didn't like the movie, but it was Take Your Kid to Work Day. But, like, so me and my friend went to my dad's office, but there's, like, nothing for a kid to do there. So yeah. it was, like, you know, just walk down to the Blockbuster video and rent something. We were in ninth grade, so we rented Super Troopers, and we watched it in, like, the office meeting room. And then mm. uh, when it was wow. done, it was, like, 10 a.m. Because, you know, normal people work early in the morning. And we're like, shit, it's 10 a.m. We got another seven hours here. What should we do? And we're like, all right, we could watch Super Troopers again. And then it'll be like lunchtime. So we watch Super Troopers What if Super you had like an hour? <laughs> what if you had an hour between viewings? I think that counts that as count? right after. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've watched Forbidden Zone twice in a row then. What the heck is Forbidden Zone? I think the last movie that I watched <laughs> right after I watched <laughs> it the right first time. Forbidden Zone. <laughs> The last movie it's that I did that with was Prestige, I think. Probably. I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. But you should watch The Prestige. It's a great movie. It's not porn. It, <laughs> I mean, the, the fact that you're being so cagey about the explanation... Makes I, it well, Rob started talking the second I finished, so I didn't... <laughs> I'm just saying, it seems a little pornographic. <laughs> it's not... Look, it's, uh, it's got the Mystic Knights of the Oingo Boingo do the soundtrack, and it's this bizarre story about the California tar pits and then they go through this weird intestinal tract and they end up in hell and there's like weird devil's deals going on. I, I don't really know how to describe it. There's a lot of song like and dance porn. numbers involved. It's not porn. <laughs> well, no. it's not porn yet. <laughs> there's a couple of nude butts in it, but it's not porn. The Forbidden nice. Zone. I think yeah. the devil like bangs the butts, but like you don't see anything. Okay, the more you talk about this movie, <laughs> The more I think it's porn. It seems porno yeah. pornographic. And they do kind of like come out of the colon of the weird intestines at the end. But that's not like porn. That's just gross. Nick, have you ever seen the sequel? It's called uh, The Erogenous Zones. <laughs> Which are those? <laughs> There's a couple. I'd back say of the knee. Take me some time to explain. Do yeah. you kiss the back of the knee? <laughs> yeah, that, that counts. The, like, uh, the poop that comes out of the colon are pillows, by the way. What? What? Yep. 
I'm just saying it's not real poop or anything. It's they come out with pillows after they go through. It's like an animated sequence, and then they come out of a real like cardboard butt. Does Oingo Bo Oingo Boingo Oingo Boingo Does Oingo Boingo have any famous songs? Uh, I think Little Girls might have been one of their big singles. Mm. Look, it. I didn't write it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird science. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> who's, oh, I who, who's saying that song? Beyond. It's like, are we dance? Oh, dance. You know oh, that yeah. I know that song. It's a good song. I don't that know. That was that in uh, the Vice City soundtrack. Oh, it's a classic. Yeah. I think that might be Wang Chung. It is Wang Chung. It's not yeah. Wang Chong. That's oh! offensive. I don't know anything about Wang Chong. Do you know what? anything about Wang Chong? How did I win? Excuse they, me. Oh, they sing that song that goes Wang Chong. I mean, other than that, though. Um, they, don't they say everybody Wang Chong tonight in one of their everybody songs? Everybody Wang Chong tonight. tonight. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. 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 So, I'm probably gonna embarrass myself here. No. Well, what else is new? Into, yeah, uh, <laughs> but not for the reason that people are gonna think when I say it. But oh, okay. Two, two things. First one's not that crazy, but I think if we're talking about movies that we've seen the most of, if we count like full series, Baltic. I've probably uh, I've probably seen every Harry Potter movie like at least ten times each. Mm, okay. Yeah. So All that's right. like seventy to eighty times of that whole series. Yeah. What? Which I don't think is that crazy because those movies are very rewatchable Wait, if you like them. You're counting the individual movies as watching the whole series? What? No, I'm counting like if you just count that whole series as like... Oh, every movie. individual movie counts toward one watch yeah, of the... Yeah, I'm just saying like if we count that, which I don't think you know we necessarily do or don't, but... Yeah. I think we count one individual movie, not right, as right, right. the series. And now, this is where I'm going to embarrass myself. That movie is The Lion King. Mm. Not embarrassing because when I was yet. younger, what I would do is I would really like to sing along to all the songs in the movie. <laughs> so I would do that a lot. That's uh, fine. Horrible. Not embarrassing yet. Yeah. I don't know. I'm good. When are you getting to the embarrassing yeah, bit? Yeah, you haven't gotten to the embarrassing part yet. Yeah. Right, well, it turns out it wasn't embarrassing, I'm saying. That's not oh, that, yeah. yeah, that's what college freshmen do when they get drunk. I've got a way more embarrassing Disney movie that I used to watch on all right. when I was um, a kid. I'm glad I coaxed this one out and didn't risk <laughs> anything at all. I, uh, so I'm, I'm told, I actually don't remember this, but I'm told that I used to watch Eskimo The Little Pussy Mermaid. Is mighty cold. Oh, no. Nick. <laughs> I used to watch The Little Mermaid on uh, on repeat when I was younger. I win! No. Oh. I thought you won. <laughs> no, yeah. I died. The opposite. Freeze him, freeze him. Oh, that's uh, why would that be embarrassing, Rob? Because the protagonist is a woman? <laughs> no, because it's just not like in Rogue One, the protagonist oh was a woman. Ah, you know what? You're right. I was actually really <laughs> pissed off that they had any women in Solo. Because I thought it was Solo about a man who goes solo. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. <laughs> Can you women sing the song it. about when she finds the who's he what's it and the, like the what's him call it? You know what's you know funny? Is I don't. I don't. Even though apparently I loved that movie when I was a child, I uh, well, I don't remember like any songs from it. Like really? Time. Yeah. Because you had to hear that song every time the movie plays. You would think, yeah. Huh? I think that's one of the Disney movies that I haven't actually seen. Rack attack! <laughs> the one where she's like, oh, it's like a spoon, but it's not, and then she puts it back on the shelf. What do they call them? Forks. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much yeah. that's pretty much it. Thank you. That movie has uh, some real bangers in it. Like, uh, yeah, you know, I just can't wait to live on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that. And like the, track. the circle of water. <laughs> I I didn't understand what the joke was until now. I got. <laughs> I was like, isn't that a Little Mermaid's about a lady? She wants to live on the land. She does. Yeah. She wants to try out having human feet. Yeah. Why? That's fucking boring. She mostly just Did anyone tell her? Did anyone tell her about taxes? No. <laughs> Is that something that she knows? What if she, she just mostly... got corns and like nasty ass fungus on her feet as soon as she got them? Yeah. Because she, she keeps surprised. thinking like the best thing to do all day is walk around on the beach. Yeah. She's gonna get nasty trench foot and then her feet are gonna get rotted off. Honestly, it would serve her right. Idiot. Yeah. It's no. not all. It's not all fun and games up here. You ever see funny games? No, but... A Doug movie? 
Wh no. Which one? The original uh, or the, then the, the sequel version. where the dude yeah. remade his own movie in America? And it's like a shot for shot. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, the German version. <laughs> I mean, it, it, like, it, to be honest, it is a shot-for-shot -shot remake. It doesn't matter which one you watch. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Like, film like snobs, which should be me, uh, would be would be like, well, you gotta watch the original German version. But it's a shot-for-shot -shot remake. Who cares? I thought I was reading about that probably like a month ago. What yeah. a, what an interesting coincidence. And I thought it was like when the first one came out in Germany. They were like, interesting idea, not that good. And he was like, you know what? That's just the rough copy. Now I'm going to make right. the good copy in America. And then when it came out in America, they were like, eh, it's not that good. Yeah. So it's pretty much the same movie. Yeah, like, when I was younger, it was one of those things where, like, you know, all my friends who were, who were like, into, like, horror stuff were like, oh, my God, you have to watch funny games. And, like, I don't know, it's good, it's atmospheric, but it's, like, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, I think. I think when you're young and snobby, which yeah. is the title of my debut album, <laughs> uh, anything that subverts traditional genre trends is like instantaneously yeah. it appeals to you. Right. I agree with that. Even if it I sucks, do. like Across the Universe, that Beatles musical. <laughs> my I did really not see that, that <laughs> What? How old was your brother when it came out? Be honest. Probably like 16, 17. Perfect age. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think you can it. use the human centipede to censor human genitals? Hmm. By like, okay. by like eating them. Well, no. What I mean is like, say you've got some human genitals in a movie, right? And then you want to not show them because censorship. Yeah, like right. you don't want to get like an adults-only rating on your movie or something. Right. So you put like another human being's mouth over mm. them. Oh, okay. I see. What you're and saying. then all of a sudden, you can't see them anymore. Is that? better yes or is that worse for from the sensor standpoint i mean i do want to take a little issue with the idea that oral sex is akin to it's the censorship? human centipede the like <laughs> well no i mean the, the mouth the mouth is attached to the asshole yeah no well it's okay rob they got out at the end <laughs> Is it like Actually, I don't know that they did in the second and third ones. They may not have done. No! It. It's is okay, it, Austin. Is it Look an analingual thing, or is it like a coerced thing? Because I think that makes a huge difference. Is it an airlingual? Hey. Air. Wait, what's oh, the no. problem? Analingus is not censorship. Analingus? Well, I think if it's forced analingus, you have to. The MPAA has to put that you have in to tell the me about context. Well, it's it's breaking the fourth wall. The analingus, like. You, oh, you, put him there, you put him there because it's really hard to play this and talk at the same time. Yes. Uh, you put him there because the director put him there, but not because there's like a plot reason. So it's just like instead of a black bar, it's just like a human mouth. Mm. Um, to be honest with you, I think, yeah, you would be able to get away with that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that was great placement on the house. I like that a lot. Thank you. Do thank you think that more people watch The Human Centipede because they like the movie or because they like to jack off to it? Nobody's jacking no, off to The Human jacking Centipede. jacking off to that. But no, nobody... No, but here, here's no. the thing. Nobody's watching it because they like it. I Have guess. you seen it? <laughs> I thought it was like a feature-length, like... Sort of like two girls, one cup thing. Where it, I have know. seen that movie. Nobody's jacking off to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of. It's just like a mainstream sort of extreme body horror. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Though, like, is anyone actually watching it because they like? Because it is like universally considered awful, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not very it's, good. It's yeah. gone back around the other side, though. Like people thought it was so awful, it was good. Mm. It's definitely not. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know about like what you specifically it, said, but I mean, I yeah. think those people are wrong. It yeah, achieved yeah. cult status, is what I'm trying to get at, which is yeah, why there yeah. were two sequels to it. I think there I think, were two right. sequels? Yes, yeah, they made the a third chapter. one, which was about a prison being completely turned into a centipede. <laughs> I did prison? not watch that one. <laughs> it's, it's like a prison was eating another prison's <laughs> ass. <laughs> No, it's like 100 or 200 people all chained. Okay. I can't fucking play this game. <laughs> well, it's a, it reminds me of, like, uh, Sharknado, where it's like... It just Stop. is there on... Con oh. It's just the concept alone is what makes it silly, and then, like, 
your or Tusk, your normie coworker is like, check it out! I got oh, this really shit. subversive movie. It's about a dude who oh, stitches harsh. people's mouths and asses together. Isn't that weird? Yeah. And you're like, that's not that weird. That's just like, you're trying too hard. My wolf exploded. I still like South Park's take on human centipede. Yeah, uh, don't do the voice. I know you want to do the voice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it was from South Park. You can quote it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, human centipede sucks ass. <laughs> In many the ways! Robert! <laughs> oh my god, that was so good! You didn't do that on purpose, did you? I really did not, no! <laughs> <laughs> it was so much better that you didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's one of those jokes that on purpose is just not funny, but accidentally <laughs> yeah. solid. Um, How many animals do you think have been inside each other at the same time? Huh? Like in a you mean like the little old lady story or whatever. Like <laughs> um, you know, you know, there's that fish that gets the tongue parasite, right? And then the tongue parasite becomes the fish's tongue. No, like, no what I didn't if, know that oh, actually. Yeah, yeah. Somehow, okay, so there's I've a never heard of the tongue parasite. <laughs> there's a tongue parasite that fish get, replaces their tongue, and then it acts as the fish's tongue, but also eats a little of the food. Mm. Uh, so imagine that fish with the pa the tongue parasite got caught in some other larger animal, then that animal got caught in another one, mm. and it all happened super fast. Like how many animals were alive at the same time before, you know, the final moment? Is this like an algebra question? Yes. <laughs> Is this an algebra question. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> if you can come up with a way to write that equation, I'd be happy to hear it. Uh, so, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I love how chat thought Nick was like asking a really bad sexual question. Did no. You know who Nick is? You want the scientific facts about how many animals can be eaten by? Yeah, I always want stuff. scientific facts, never sexual. So I am like so far from a germaphobe. Mm. I'm almost like a germophile, right? That right. You look I for germs? germs? Yeah, yeah, I love them. Big old, yeah. big old germs. But you get, you I, get off on germs. I totally understand. Like, Howie Mandel, everyone goes like, oh, look at this weirdo doesn't want to shake hands with you, just fist bump. Why don't you just be normal, idiot, right? But you think about, like, how many germs are out there on a regular basis? I totally get why someone would be a germaphobe. We have like yeah. billions or trillions of bacteria in our stomach, in our gut, yeah. in our colon. And is it trillions? Wow. Nobody knows what they're doing down there for the most part. People are just like, this is good bacteria, that's bad bacteria. How do they Did know which ones are bad? Know? I don't know. I'm not. I didn't know there were trillions, I thought there were billions. Also, I... I feel like you're shirking my fish question, but that's okay. Well, I, I don't have any insight into that whatsoever. I was hoping maybe you would, because you know, we, yeah, you we got a biology major. We are a marine biologist. We didn't cover uh, how many animals had been inside of one another at one time, <laughs> unfortunately. You didn't know how early. many animals were inside of each other? No, I, I also thought that would be like a core <gasps> class. Whitney! Oh, boy. Oh, no. Witness me! <sighs> I like I, rage, I'm dude. so fucked because I have an angled piece and Yeah, like, I have the square after that one is help. Me out. I'm just building a pile. Yeah, I'm, I'm just give me pile meta here. here. Just like this might work. No. There's too much wind in this Tetris. It's a lot of Tetris this is the windiest windows. Tetris. Come on. Um No, oh, I was there. <laughs> I guess I was too. I didn't really notice. You guys ever see video drill? No. <laughs> Got it. See what? Cronenberg body horror. Yeah. I have not body. seen video drum. You should. I should like, though. Yeah, that sounds like my kind of thing. Same you question would, from the human centipede. Video <laughs> it's a Canadian when, movie. When and how does the body horror uh, Cronenbergs happen? Uh, well, the card in the grammar there. <laughs> The Cronenberg Ness body horror happens like kind of sort of near the end. Oh, spoiler. Oh, um, that sucks. I thought it was going to be right away. Yeah, but like there is a scene where James Woods pierces Blondie's nipple. Uh, oh, I like, can't watch. Actually. That doesn't count. I can't yeah. watch a James Woods movie. Yeah. I don't <laughs> That's fair. I don't mix politics and media. <laughs> why why is there Cronenberg action happening? Uh, well, okay, so I'll give you a quick premise of the movie. Okay, give me There's, a primer. There is a sleazy TV network uh, executive. James Woods. Those James freaking Woods, guys. Yeah. 
and uh, he wants to find the hottest new thing, you know? And, okay, uh, and it's like and Goop Monsters? Debbie Harry. <laughs> yeah. And he basically discovers the 80s version of the Darknet, and uh, oh. finds, yeah, and he, he like finds this uh, weird thing called Videodrome, where, uh, where it's just like this pirate broadcast <laughs> where people are getting tortured and they don't know <laughs> if it's real or not. Oh, it's like fear.com. There's yeah, a new exactly. movie coming out just like that, too. Mm. I saw a preview for it uh, when I saw Hereditary, and I don't remember the name of it now. Mm. He's done it! Yeah. Alright, that sounds interesting so far. So at some point they turn into goop? There's, uh, then it gets real weird, yeah. It's a, it's a Cronenberg movie, so you know. You know how that goes. Cronenberg killed the men. I don't have the second part yeah. of that joke. Cronenberg killed the men. It's a real good movie. Where'd my house go? <laughs> Dropped it down I thought they way. would just, like, you know... Let it go, and then maybe it'll be at the bottom. Let there. it go. Let it go. Hey, did you guys see that Elsa was in the new Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> yeah, like Frozen Elsa? <laughs> did you have any idea? Did you guys see that somebody was mad at Mathis for making fun of Kingdom Hearts, and then he replied <laughs> with a big, like, reply all on Twitter about it? I was chuckling no. at myself when I saw it. And I was like, this guy, what? This guy's getting in arguments <laughs> with people about Kingdom Hearts. Why why is Cloud in Smash Brothers but like Sora isn't? Uh great question. Answer Disney mm, licensing rights. Yeah, but Cloud, like he's never been in a <laughs> Nintendo game. He uh, at least to have uh Final Fantasy on Nintendo. I think Cloud is he's kind of like James Earl Jones. Where, like, oh. everybody's like, I know that guy, even though he hasn't done a movie in, like, 14 right. years. <laughs> he's just kind of, like... He's ubiquitous. He's, well, you know who he's like? He's like Jack Nicholson. Hasn't been in a movie since, yeah. like, The Bucket List or something. But Everybody everyone's like, him. he's the most famous actor in America. Are they? Huh. Well, you know, people, people say things all the time <laughs> that they may or may not regret. <laughs> I mean, the most, uh, the highest, uh, grossing actor... Uh, I believe I, I don't know if Sam Jackson took yeah. it from Harrison Ford yet. I believe he but. did because of every Marvel movie that he's in for ten seconds. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I know he was competing with him for it. So <laughs> anyway, I just thought it was funny since he was basically exclusively a Sony, uh, well, not a Sony character, but on Sony media, for him to be in the Nintendo thing about Nintendo characters seemed kind of silly. Dude, somebody in your chat just mentioned uh, that The Rock is the highest paid currently, apparently. Yeah. And uh, we saw a trailer for the, like, Die Hard starring The Rock, basically, uh, when Rampage. we watched Infinity War. Did you guys see that? Yeah. No, 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 not Rampage. It's a movie <gasps> called, like, it looks like it's a remake of Inferno, almost. But I forget. It's called Skyscraper, I think is what it's called. <laughs> Fuck oh, you. Oh, oh. I think I've seen Skyscraper. It looks... Bad. Wait, wait, who's number three here? <laughs> <laughs> not me. <laughs> I think I'm out of one. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. <laughs> Wasn't Skyscraper from like 2001? Maybe. Maybe it's. A, are we remaking 2001 failures? <laughs> Is that what's happening? I, now? Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I thought it was called Skyscraper. It was about a uh, fireman that was trying to like get out of a high rise. Are you, it it, you it sounds like the lives? Towering Inferno. Oh, it that's what I'm thinking that, of. That's, that's it. from like 1975. No, that's what I was saying. It, it looks like it's a remake of, uh, of Towering Inferno. Did they remake it in the 90s? Because I think there was one then. They remake did do a remake of that. In the 90s. Uh, I don't remember when they remade it. Because I wasn't alive in the 70s, so and I saw it when it was new, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you guys ever seen the, re the remake of the Poseidon Adventure called Poseidon? Yes. Yeah. No. Who's green lighting these stupid movies? I know this Hollywood. is like 10 years old. Not you, point. I guess. Well, it's just like, it's the same with Ben Hur, where I'm like, nobody wants to see a it's new Ben, ben Hur. It just doesn't make sense. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Sorry. No, we can swear on this show. It's okay. <laughs> you just gotta take the box for it for YouTube. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back. Shit farts. Get ice. Are you monetized now? 
Um, it ebbs and flows, honestly. <laughs> My Isaac episodes oftentimes end up as T for teen, which offends me on many levels. One big level is like, if you're over the age of 13, you shouldn't be watching this in the first place. You should have better things to do. Yeah. The other one is I don't say swears anymore. <laughs> swears. <laughs> like heck? Swears. I say heck from time to time. Maybe that's uh -oh. my problem. You should be censoring that. So I know you say frig ironically. Yeah. Is that is that like not ironic because you don't want to swear? Uh, <laughs> it's it's both. Yeah, it oh, skirts wow. the Google Deep Mind language filter and it makes it all ages friendly. But the thing <laughs> is, if you're an adult, you know when I say frig, I'm saying yeah. I'm saying fuck. It's what? like when they used to say frack. On, yeah, uh, yeah. Battlestar Galactic. And then I had so much respect for you. <laughs> You know what I'd love to see is a comedian who doesn't swear, but is also extremely vile. I don't know if any comedian like that has ever existed. Like, yeah, I was fingering my girlfriend's butthole yesterday and some poop came out and I ate it. You'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> that sounds like, uh, what that sounds like it just tastes like crap. <laughs> I, that, Rodney that Dangerfield? Sounds... Eh. <laughs> that sounds completely like a bit that Jim Norton would absolutely have. Which one's honest. Jim Norton? He's the one that I looks... see, he stinks and I don't like him. Yeah, he stinks and I don't. Like okay, him. yeah, yeah. I thought he was yeah. the the virus guy. Uh, Danny DeVito? No, Northern Antivirus. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah, that's cold, dude. Oh, no, I just Northern hated that joke that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this wave shit anymore. Yeah, I just want a like sack. No. Uh oh. Yeah, I should have just put it on like puzzle only. What? But, but yeah. in my head, I was like, that's gonna get boring. And then every I, time, I I'm like, puzzles the best. Yep. I don't like puzzle because then I gotta like think real hard, and then like, I'm not good at banter. Yeah. Puzzle comes naturally to me. Yeah. It's not that puzzle hard. And I'm already not good at naturally, but me. like you know, it's because my brain goes so fast. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You gotta go. Can you guys just wizard out? I'm gonna right now, so don't worry Fuck. about it. There. Fuck! Come on! Are you in a danger? How did I fuck How that up? How did I wizard the fuck out, dude? Did you guys see that tweet from Major Nelson about how easy it is to connect your Microsoft Fortnite account and then use it on Switch? I did not. No! Yes, yes! yes. I just replied, this tweet, tweet lacks subtlety. Do you follow Major Nelson? I think I might, yeah. <laughs> What year is it? <laughs> For real, though, actually. What happened to him? <laughs> Do you like what he does once a week where he interviews a, a gamer and figures out, what's your favorite game? <laughs> it's some hard-hitting questions. Well, I've always loved the Halo franchise. There's a special place in my heart for Gears of War, though. Are you, <laughs> are you talking about the Sony press conference? <laughs> you get it? Because it... It was not a good conference. E3 kind of blew this year. E3 was fine. You're I, think it was, I think it was all right. Wrong. And yeah. you're simultaneously right, because the Sony press conference was just bizarre. When nobody it knew if it strange. started or had ended and then they yeah. were like so they showed like the last of us 2 trailer and then everyone yeah. everyone was like oh starting off with a bang i see how it is you got banjo yeah. lord and then they were like so what's your favorite part of the last of us 2 trailer and everyone's like is this yeah. the show it's byoe it's bring your own yeah. entertainment <laughs> uh, lynn actually had a really great anecdote about that that i think she's actually correct the reason they threw over to the panel was because they were buying time for the audience to change venues, yeah, and it just yeah, took a million that, years longer yeah. than they thought. Yeah, but that's well, like but see, they went back stupid. to the panel. I know it's very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they also went back to the panel later, and I was insulted, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, they didn't do it to insulted. you personally. I mean, they did. They did. Yeah, I guess they did do it to you yeah. personally. Sorry, bro. <laughs> if I wanted to see four people who don't know what they're talking about talk about new games, I would actually watch Roundtable. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> punch. I was gonna try and cut out your freaking punchline with another podcast, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you no, we suck. Dirty bitch. 
So is that what? Mario Party, Super Mario Party is confirmed not online? Not online. That's Are you thought they said it was? I didn't notice that. Really? Nintendo are idiots. No. Nintendo. They're stupid idiots. Be What's nice wrong with or them? They're gonna delete their Instagram account. They're stupid idiots. <laughs> are you I fucking just, kidding? At it's least like, Overcooked has online. Yeah, that's a smart decision. No. It just like it hurts because I, it's literally what I wanted. I was like, people were like, what do you want to see from Nintendo? And I was like, you know, Prime Four, you know, Smash, all that. But then like, I'd really love to have a new Mario Party. <sighs> And then I said, but they're, even if they have one, it's not going to have online, and I'm going to be sad. And sure enough, new Mario Party. No I'm way. sorry I called Nintendo stupid idiots, guys. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I mean, that is... Like, what? Are we in 2004? Like, what's happening? You know Honestly. what I really liked is when yeah. they showed that really tender same-sex kiss in The Last of Us 2. And you're like, <laughs> you know, who says games can't have nuance? And then yeah. she made a homemade arrow and shot it at a dude, and the dude exploded <laughs> yeah. into, like, red mist. Yeah. I was like, and this is also... fucking sick! <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, that scene continues, and after, like, a brutal machete murder, it cuts back to the kiss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, wow, all right, yeah, that's... But I do have a lot of questions about it okay. as a result of that. And the big one is, like, yeah, where is well, where's the dance taking place? Yeah. Where, you got like this venue, everybody's dancing and having a good time. But there's well, clickers out there. We don't know that. We never saw them in the trailer. That's true, they could be gone. There might not be it, clickers. There might not be any more clickers, maybe they found a way. Did, oh, but you know what? Maybe they did a crossover and added freakers in. <laughs> no, really? You think they got the did freakers? They? Yeah. Could have added a couple of freakers in there. All right, I don't want to live in that world. That sounds terrifying. I'm actually kind of glad they didn't show any of that game <laughs> again. I want them to just release it so we can move on. Yeah, yeah. I think they were really hoping Sons of Anarchy would air for like 11 seasons, <laughs> and then when they they stopped after season 10.99, they were like, "Oh shit." <laughs> We got yeah. we got a, a game that's really gonna tap into the pulse of the nation. All right, pitch me. It's based on the media property that people are most sick of in the year 2018, <laughs> combined with a show that hasn't been on the air since 2016. Yeah. Where do I sign? <laughs> See, now when we were watching E3, though, we were like, uh, we realized though that we are the exception, not the rule. Because it's very you know, self-inflating. Well, because like, 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 yeah, we're really tired of zombies. But like, when they were showing like stuff that we thought was like really cool, if you look at the Twitch chat, it was all just like, oh, Resident Sleeper, where are the guns? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's just like, yeah, like we're the ones. We're yeah. the, we're the hipsters, not not anyone else. I mean, we have all these YouTube channels, right, that are covering all these indie games mostly, and then like we're not popular, so that's <laughs> as far as you really had to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, where are the guns, though? Where are the guns? I was very uh, unhappy when, at the end of the Death Stranding oh. gameplay, Norman Reedus took out a carbine. I was like, <laughs> yeah. we, were, we were so close to it being, and it could still be ah. awesome, but I was like, man, we were so close to it being like something a little weirder. And then when he pulled out the carbine, I was like, all right, it's, it is Hideo Kojima. Like, I hope it's mostly yeah. mountain climbing and trekking through weird, like, crazy worlds. Oh, that appeals no, to me no, a lot, Dennis. actually. Oh, you piece of shit! What is this? Auto spin? I don't yeah. respect it. I'm gonna oh, send God. back an auto spin for you in the other direction. No, just, fine. Honestly, oh, me. oh like, man. Just, just call it. I, was, I hope the toenail ripping off segment, by the way, is like a one-time deal, I and also I cannot look at it ever again. Mm, that was you, a big no on that one. You think they're gonna put like? That's gonna be like one of the back of the box things. Is like once every hour you have to rip off your toenail. No, like, <laughs> think back to Far Cry Four, right? Where when yeah. you get shot, he kept pulling out the bullet with pliers from his forearm and shit. Mm, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. maybe that would be like a fucking weird animation you'd keep seeing when you That's step fair. on the wrong thing. I mean, it didn't really make sense in Far Cry, like how many times you pull a bullet out of your arm, but it, you know, it's games. It's weird, right? Because like I also was like, it's gross, but when 
she blew that dude up. <laughs> I was like, that was sick. Yeah. You, just you know what I want to know? No, is, I will uh, what, the, Where'd Ellen Page go, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Ellen Page? Look. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Hey. That control game looked cool though. Dude, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, that looked interesting. It's I like thought a that looked neat. Kind of thing. That was. Yeah. They just didn't show any of it though. But I here's the thing, motherfucker. Too. Okay. <laughs> Everything Dude, they mad? show at E3 is already so highly curated. That whenever I get so upset when people are like, "But where's the gameplay?" None of it is gameplay. <laughs> None of it. I agree. It's all made in a lab in Irvine, California. Wait yeah. a minute. There's some gameplay, Ryan. Almost none of it is gameplay. I was, I was so pissed at the. Oh. I was so pissed at the uh, the Last of Us thing on. because that was all bullshit. Like, almost none of that looked. I'm tilted now. None of it looked real. <laughs> I, I think it could still be real. I think it could. Dude, I was biting my tongue during round table because it was neither the time nor the place. But when people were going, this is gameplay. I was like, yeah, it's definitely gameplay. Yeah. When it starts behind the shoulder, there's no HUD whatsoever. It randomly swings into these like cinematic segments yeah. that are yeah, highly yeah. scripted and curated. Like, You guys all deal. played God of War, right? Like That has polished of that level. I think it's possible that it's slightly edited but is still mostly actual gameplay. No, but the God of War thing has one animation for every enemy, whereas what's her face was true. going through doing all. Yeah, it is. In it fact, some one animation. Have animation. It's it's curated, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, like there's there's like scenes in that where it was like, um, <clears throat> where she like knows exactly which thing. Yeah, she like jumped off a fucking stuff. road yeah. at one point, like yeah. without knowing where to go. Well, it, yeah, like, like the reality is this is how it goes down in the actual game is you're like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll go there and then I'll plan out my next move and go that way. And you take a step and they're just like, hey, look, there's somebody here. And then you just get into a big <laughs> Okay, but like if a speedrunner who knows the route by heart is playing a game, that's still gameplay, right? I don't. It think just so. looks like a movie at a point because they know everything that's going to happen by heart. No, I mean, again, this isn't like, it's not meant to be cynical. It's just meant to be like... The, the slice that's in there, nobody is going to have like a 15 minute segment that looks like that. That's like the, the Indiana Jones ride at Universal Studios. It's like they're just hitting you nonstop with action because it's a sizzle reel. Yeah. When it comes yeah. out, it'll be, you know, there'll be segments that are similar to that, but nothing will look, I think, even close to exactly like that. Yeah, I also, I, I went on like a, like a long rant about this in an Isaac episode. This is why I'll pull back the veil. I dislike E3. I'm starting yeah. to dislike it at least. For the rest of the year, if I ever say anything in support of a game that is out, <laughs> Twitch, Twitch chat is like, you fucking shill. It sucks. And for E3, if you're like, yeah, the trailer looked good, but I'm not sold, everybody goes, why do you hate fun? Can you not just <laughs> let... Do you even like games anymore? Just let gamers like games. And I'm like, you can like it, but... We got we got a problem with like fantasy versus reality. That's because this is the show. Is I I yell and I was yelling <laughs> at Austin mostly. I know he can and, take it. And in fairness, you do hate fun. I do so. not hate fun. I just have You're realistic expectations. You don't hate fun. You just want there to be less of it. I think. I want fun to be more efficient. And that's <laughs> that's my you. own that's my own hill to climb. Okay. But I'm just saying, this industry, you know, you reap what you sow. And when they show the trailers and everyone goes, instant 10 out of 10, I'm going to pre-order it. And then it comes out and you go, well, the options menu is not quite right. You're going to end up with, you know, oh, some jadedness no. like this. Yeah. No! Why would you do this to me? I hate when... I'm, I'm all for declaring bullshit where bullshit is. I just don't always know 100% if something is. So jumping to conclusions one way or the other seems wrong. I just... It was, it was too much like a movie. It looked like a movie, Last of Us. Just straight up. Yeah, I mean, right. I kind of just mostly don't care at all, though, because it's Last of Us and I never played the first one. I but... actually thought it looked good. Right, I mean, this is not even, yeah. like, a hot take. I thought it looked great. And now that I yeah. actually like playing things on my PS4, because I can stream it, I'm like, I'll probably play it. But I was all, at the same time, I was like, come on. This is like... 
it's not E3 number one. We know that this is know, like it's it's like when you take a profile for like a like a dating website. It's not like you're waking up and being like, this has got to be representative. You know, it's a uh, you're choosing like the absolute best, and you might even be applying some filters or something like that. I will say though, like as far as like yeah, all of the even even the stuff that's in engine and gameplay, like it's all scripted. That's that's obviously true. They did show some like Spider-Man footage at the post panel thing or whatever and uh that wasn't that that was not scripted like the yeah no it, it, it looks entirely uh, not entirely different but yeah you could just see that like it, it's not like they're just downright lying so it's not like as yeah. malicious i think as it's been in the past where they would just show like a literal movie and that was what they showed <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but i still don't like it yeah. I just want you to keep in mind the very big climactic fight toward the beginning of God of War. I think that's actually kind of an incredible example of how much it can look like a movie, but still be in the game. It's yeah. highly scripted, highly uh, curated how it's you know shown to the viewer, but it's still part of the game. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. It's not wrong. I just, I don't know. I get... The thing that, that tilts me more than anything else is that the rest of the year, cynicism is the norm. And then at E3, if you deign to be like, well, this is like, you know, it's a little bit doctored. People are like, why don't you let, just let people enjoy things? <laughs> I don't, don't shit on the trailer. I like the trailer. I don't know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, uh, it's all over. No, give me a heart. Uh... Give me the heart, you bitch. Give me the... <laughs> I'm just going Goodbye. straight up, dude. I don't know, I'm up it. for a couple games. That Ghosts of uh, uh, Sumuma, that, that that looked pretty good. Ghosts of Tsunami. <laughs> yep. Ghosts of Ghosts Tsushima, of yeah. Yeah, Ghosts of Tsunami. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looked good. That looked really good. That looked really pretty. It did. Yeah. Cool setting. Uh, yeah. It like it looks like a fucking Kurosawa movie. The it's, white uh, dude was ripping it up as well. On the pan flute. Dude, yeah. Christopher Guest oh, was crushing right, yeah. it on the <laughs> yeah, pan right, yeah. flute. Yeah. I felt like the I was at a I felt like I was yeah. at a hibachi grill <laughs> with my uncle who meditates and I works did. at a bank. One of the funniest things about E3 for me was how excited I am, I think, for Fallout 76 and how much everyone who likes everyone Fallout Everyone hates it. Yeah. Fallout 76. It looks cool. I think it, it looks, looks really good. fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People are so mad. Like, if you look at the Fallout subreddits, like, they are in... They're in that mode where they're just gonna, like, start posting completely unrelated things. Like, they're gonna become, like, a Mario subreddit because they're so mad. <laughs> yeah. It's like the No Man's Sky <laughs> subreddit, but only before the game's actually out, instead of after. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, like, it's... I, I'm, I'm willing to give them a chance. Although, it's, it's because, also, like, part of the problem with my brain is I get, like, 90% of my news from the sidebar of Twitter moments now, which is just yeah. like mental poison. So the only thing I saw about it was like, they promised Fallout 76 will be four times larger than Fallout 4. Right. And I was like, that sounds like garbage. That's that's meaningless. Yeah, that, that wasn't the problem with Fallout 4. Yeah, that was <laughs> one of the least problems it <laughs> right, had. Yeah. Nobody was like, this game's too small. No, no. But it's a great talking point and people love to hear how big things are. Am I right, yeah. ladies? <laughs> I think the only <laughs> game that, like, properly announced its bigness was Breath of the Wild. That one was mm -hmm. like, oh, it's big, and then you play, and it's like, oh, this had a reason to be big. Dude, is that can it? I just say, people are still mad at me for, uh, for saying something remotely negative about uh, the Dying Light 2 thing, mm. by the way. Like, I'm still getting tweets about that. Like, Yeah, the writer guy, stuff. I also got a couple tweets about that, too. Did it go viral? Yeah. <laughs> like no. an accidental viral tweet? I hate when that happens. No, because, like, basically what I said is Chris Avalon comes out oh, and he yeah, says, yeah. Uh, this is going to be genre-defining. This this is the first game where your choices really matter. And it's like, I have heard that my entire <laughs> fucking life. And it has never been true. But then pe people got really mad at me for saying that. So I don't know. No, you're absolutely right. There's no reason to believe any single person literally ever when they say something like Is that. Is Chris Avalon yeah. writing it? Uh, apparently, yeah. All right, so, that makes sense. He's, then. he's why, apparently attached to the project. Why so. he would say that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just, just going like, to let that stuff roll right off. I don't really care very much. I don't either, but it's just we'll it's, it's just funny, though, because like, like every E3, there's always at least one no. game where somebody says that. Like, this is the first game where your choices actually have consequences. Dude, I'm still waiting for Dead Island 2. 
<laughs> oh yeah, wasn't was that, that announced? I, was that officially cancelled? No, I think it's just like in hell. Oh, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was Maybe announced in 2015, I think. They oh had that trailer God. with the rollerblading people. Yeah. And it made a bit of a splash, and then it just kind of went completely black. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay. And play Goldeneye. Okay. Goldie. And I don't know what's up with Beyond Good and Evil 2 either. They're I... like doing a contest for free art. Apparently well, they are no, paying. They confirmed that they are paying for the art, which is. But nice. are they paying for it in a weird they're, way? I don't know. They're I, paying I, for I, some of it, and everyone else, they're giving it to you. Right. I. I, I, I get a little weird with that because people are like, you know, th this is awful for artists. This is just bullshit. They're they're getting free work. It's not fair. And like, even if they weren't paying, like, who's being forced to to make art for this? Like, it's yeah, like, just, just a little don't... victim blaming though. <laughs> but, but but who's don't you don't do have it. to do it. Yeah, it's no, they're do it. they're yeah. propping up the no, idea of exposure it. being a good up... idea. Yeah. Did they though? They said if you want to, you can make art for us. That's all they said. Yeah, I mean, I'm like kind of with you, honestly. And it's and like um, Jordan, Joseph Gordon Levitt's studio has been doing that for like I don't know, probably like a decade now, um, doing that very thing. And I think a couple of people have actually you know gotten gigs from it. But the movie industry is a little bit different in that way. Um, and I don't know how much that would translate to video games necessarily. So, I don't know. Um, in a sense, though, like, if I was an artist and I wanted to be in a game, I'd be, like, uh, I'd be pretty pumped if my art got in a game, even if I didn't get paid for it. You know, if I was just doing it for it's fun. It's a bad mentality. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You gotta set the standard a little bit higher. You know I'm gonna be on Austin's page here, though. Cause I'm like, yeah, I wish you weren't, <laughs> though. But like, just don't, <laughs> just don't do it if you if you don't like the deal. Yeah. It takes advantage of people that don't know what's going on yet, that are new to the industry and want to just get into stuff because they're don't excited. Think that's true. People aren't that stupid. Yeah, they are. Absolutely, they are. They're enthusiastic and they see an opportunity, and it just leads to people doing stuff. They don't think about it. Well, it's like that thing I sent to B Rex that I think he took the wrong way. Where I said it's, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wait, it's, wait, it's immoral to let a sucker keep his money. Except in this case, it's immoral to let an artist keep their time. When you put it that way, though, it sounds like a real dickish thing to say. Huh? <laughs> what do I think about unpaid internships? I think they're still also shitty. I Yeah, I think those are just gross. Just become a streamer. <laughs> it's that simple. Just become a streamer and never play in the Fortnite pro am. <laughs> I think I think you're. I'm I'm on both of your sides. I'm a very much of a, a fence sitter here on this one. I don't I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I also like artists should get paid for their work. But also, no one's forcing the artist to pay for the work. Like it's not like a streamer who like I won't name names here, but it won't be, it's not like a streamer who uh, who <laughs> commissions an artist for work. And then it's like, oh, you expected me to pay for this? Mm. You know, so. <laughs> what, an, what an impression, by the way. <laughs> but uh, I know exactly who you're talking about now. With that <laughs> yeah. I pay all of my artists for all of the art that I've ever gotten. I think it'd be fucked up. I've commissioned it. If Joseph Gordon Levitt I... just went, hey, Drac, make me like a logo for my company. And then when Drac uh, gave him the logo, he was like, Thanks. See you next time. Like that'd be <laughs> fucked up, but I Yo, don't know. I'm just gonna say, like, for for like a good portion of my streaming career, F Snow did a lot of my art, and uh, and like most of it was just like I, I never asked for it, and he he just sent it to me, and I never paid for that art. I do pay him now for whenever I ask him for things, but like, but like back in the day, I I, I never did. Um. So, Honestly, this is know. probably not the best venue to have this discussion in because it's a bit more of a nuanced thing than is really it is nuanced, yeah. here. I, <clears throat> but I think it's a similar I, I, thing, right? Like if people are, are voluntarily sending in art for Beyond Good and Evil 2, then nobody's forcing them to do it, you know? It's a different situation. I look at it, yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm kind of split on it because I look at the game company and, and the, the guy who's making the game uh, and I go, they just want 
a way to get huh. like they have this hugely ambitious game and they don't have the resources to make all the things they want in the time they want and they want to find a way to kind of get like a slightly win-win situation but then i see ubisoft and i go they want money <laughs> i don't know how to feel about it no i didn't try to shut the conversation down because i remembered i didn't pay for art once that's not <laughs> 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 That's really good. They got you there. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Exposed. Well, here's the way I see it, and I might be coming from my base here because I'm not an artist. But how is it different from like making a weapon skin in Global Offensive? And if it well, gets you get picked paid up, for that. <laughs> isn't that the way it works? Like, don't you get paid? You get paid a royalty from Ubisoft if it gets put in Beyond Good and Evil. Oh, well, so see, from my understanding, I think they could put stuff in the game and also not. Mm. Uh, pay you? So. Yeah, I believe the under my understanding of it is that they're looking for a license that allows them to use any work submitted, and only the winner will be getting paid, or winners, I don't remember what the exact mm. stipulation was. So they're basically collecting it and making a database that then is their license to own. Are you guys good to join on me as well? Yeah, I'm yeah, refreshing the, the old thing. Okay, I have Fresh clicked design. on a game and am joining right now. I'm joining. I think it could be a good thing, but I also will say that it could be a very bad thing. Here's yeah. the thing. You artists need a business person to back you up. So what you do <laughs> is you make the art for free, and then you put it in the game, and then if they pay you, you pennies, you, yeah, you just start a totally fucked up like campaign on Twitter and yeah. go like, this is labor exploitation, and then Ubisoft will feel the pressure to be like forced to pay you substantially more than you originally agreed to. Hey, can I just say as an aside from the little bits that they showed, that game looks really good. Because it kind of does, in my opinion. Beyond Good Evil 2? Yeah. I think it's it's going to be a problem of it being too ambitious, if anything. I think you're right. But, but I think the ideas they have are, yeah, they're really good. I'm getting tilted by chat, too. I got to stop looking. <laughs> some guy said, hey, NL, write me some code for exposure. And then I was like, <laughs> no, that's the argument. If the deal sucks, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> But if Ludum Dare was like, hey, you write some code yeah, for this. We game own your game or something like that. Right. Yeah. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's a hey. weird. I think at the end of the day, the advice is don't ever be an artist. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Nick, yeah, I'm going to apologize. for all those people that actually are, right? It really no. sucks. <laughs> apologize on Austin's behalf for his yeah. job. <laughs> yeah, also, if you're in college right now and you're getting a liberal arts degree, drop out. Or it. any degree. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Just, just get really good at Fortnite. <laughs> it's the it's the golden ticket, man. Also, yeah, like, if you are a god gamer, which statistically, there's probably at least one in here, right? No. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're a god gamer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, no, it was a joke. <laughs> what does it take to become a god gamer? What exactly is the qualification there? Just gotta be real good. Ah. Stop shooting all the Lord. Oh, there's a lot of god gamers. Holy shit. Look at all those god gamers. That's They're amazing. probably the ones that know all those plays that people didn't make properly on streams. <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's, let's... I have a question about art, like, for real, though. Uh, all right. Is there, like, are there mid-size artists? Because yeah. I feel like all yeah. I hear about is... Starving artists, and then there's like, oh, this guy made a sculpture, and now he's like a trillionaire. Like, we were watching uh, House Hunters Los Angeles or something, and there was like a graffiti artist, and he's like, my budget is $9 million. And I was yeah. like, how? And I looked it up, and it was like, oh, Paul McCartney, it, like, bought 15 of his pieces or something. I was, yeah. All right. Wasn't that like a large rain artist? I don't know. That's, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like, he's, he's huge. Yeah. There yeah. are people who make, in the same way I make a very modest amount of money, they can do that in making art. It has to be porn, Thank though, you. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, just to be commissioned fetish artwork. <laughs> you're, you're joking? But no, I'm like, not joking. I've been on the yeah. internet a long time. <laughs> I'm still in, the, I'm in jail. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Can I, can I like, like when I was uh, pursuing acting in my youth, uh, one of the things somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, one of the things is like if you want to make like if you want to 
act and you actually want to make a living, the thing you're supposed to do is, is voice act, basically. Like, it's it's a it's a good way to make a reasonable living in acting uh, if you're otherwise, you know, a starving artist, you know? So. There's a lot of people who find a niche. Like, for example, maybe you're like a wood sculptor and you have a particular supplier that's always, you know, buying from a certain thing for a farmer's market or something. Mm. And there's just like a perfectly steady amount of demand for what you're supplying. And those people tend to stay right in the middle. They're just kind of like working class artists who do their thing, just go and go and go. And they, they just make their living. And that's kind of that. Yeah. That's wild, man. Yeah. yeah I mean, but, uh, like I said, like compared to what like I do, like I, it kind of makes sense to me, like. I, I don't have a very large user base of, of viewers, and I make enough money to get the food and the rent, so mm -hmm. I can I can see how it's possible. I do think though artists have to work way harder than I do. <laughs> yeah, no, we got yeah. like, we have like the easiest job on the planet. Like seriously, more yeah. or less. Like there's problems with it, but it's the duties of doing the job are the yeah. simplest thing you could ever ask for. Well, I will say though we might be like one level of difficulty above radio. I don't think so, man. I don't know. It's hard. You got to go to meetings in radio. In radio, you got to like <laughs> True, actually. Yeah. I had to go to meetings. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I got out of that, but. <laughs> oh, that's. It cool. happened. Oh man. Yeah. Like I think we we got very very simple. That's why I always it's four not... hour meetings too. It's not that there's nothing to complain about if you stream. It's just that whenever I see a streamer complaining, I'm like, you gotta consider the optics of like, I always imagine that all of my viewers work in like a fucking Victorian era coal mine or something like that. <laughs> they come out and they're coughing up black dust for like a week it's after every dust. shift. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I only got five hours of sleep last night because my cat woke me up, but I had to be there for 1 p.m. <laughs> you know, like. In reality, yeah. they're probably mostly students. <laughs> Get out of here with this! Get I don't embrace this. For a this I gotta wonder, like, if if artists drawing regular art make a reasonable amount, and artists drawing uh, porn make way more, yeah. do people doing what we do but pornographic make way more at the same like mm, viewer? Probably, yeah. I've actually asked this very question on this very yeah. show. Mm. Oh. Yeah, we, yeah, we were talking about that. Like, what what is a mid tier like, you know, cam person do? The ones that can just afford the little pink thing that sticks out. <laughs> I, I, I can't know, remember like, what that thing's called, but everybody's got them. I see. I would imagine that like it really it's it's similar to this where you have up and down days. Like, like maybe you can make the the love sense. That's the one. Right. Where they cheer and then it makes their you know stuff jiggle dude <laughs> the the real question is does the highest tier cam girl make as much as the highest tier twitch streamer i would, say, I would say probably not. probably not i, I agree not. yeah i agree yeah i don't think the i don't think caps lower yeah because the bottom low is higher and the top is lower i bet that, i think that might be true yeah people can watch ninja for like eight hours isn't it if you're watching like a oh yeah cam show you're kind of like shit starts to chafe yeah, I got what I came here for, and I I gave you some tokens, and now that's that. Yeah, Why I mean, is it like, they all have fucking awful audio? <laughs> I think it's because uh, no. I don't think they can use I don't think they can use like OBS. Probably. They're all playing copyrighted music with absolutely shit mics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't know. Like maybe you can use OBS, but like from. I imagine that it's just mostly just like webcams on their on their yeah. laptop or whatever. I know? feel like if like if somehow it was able for me to make the transition over to being over there, I would just dominate with my production value. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't take one very much. side of your production mm. value. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <they're... laughs> well, I would yeah. get the love sense, obviously. <laughs> but dude, even How like, how much do people pay for like? Like, what do you pay for? I've never explored this avenue of uh, You do private shows is the big one, but like generally you have like a list of things you want done during that stream. So if you get like 250 tokens, you'll take your top off. Uh, if you get like 500 tokens, you'll like finger your butt or something. Um, and then eventually there's a tier that's like, <laughs> is that I want to like have $5. A, I want to have a private show. <laughs> private show costs this much. And then they go offline to show just the one person that paid them. Mm. Well, I think it's not just like one person, right? Like they, they can. Oh have yeah, you a, can get a group, right? That's true. Mm, and it, and it's like paid, people. 
and it's paid and you pay per minute, right? Like you just you, you do you? Like, I think so. I thought it yeah. was just you go until they come or something and then they turn it off. <laughs> do they have do they have come tracking technology on this? Probably. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, oh. I don't I know almost... what the ah. <laughs> I have no idea what the currency exchange is for like tokens. So if I if if I said really low numbers, I just don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's Twitch chat. I'm sure all of them watch it. So you, you guys should let us know what how it works. This is my yeah, favorite. But like how much do you pay? pay? Positive. <laughs> like, say I favorite. wanted a girl to finger her butt. How much is how much is that gonna run me? You depends on the girl. Wow. <laughs> 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 I love everybody's got we, a different setup. When we talk about. Uh, things that we have no knowledge of. I'm not even being sarcastic. This is my favorite part of the show. When we know what like the rough duties of the job are, but none of the subtleties of it whatsoever. Right, and we just yeah. fill in the gaps with assumptions. Like I don't yeah, know. right, yeah. That's wait, what did I say that yeah. was off? I just mean like uh, we literally have no idea. Well, I have no idea. I'm not trying I'm to I'm not do, fingering uh, my butt for a thousand bits, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean if I need to say it for credibility, yeah, I've looked at cam girl sites before. It's not a big deal. <laughs> It is per minute about 30 tokens average per minute. How much is 30 tokens? I don't know what a token is, okay? You gotta give us dollar amount. Yeah. How much is a token? Like, how much is, is 30 tokens? Is that like 30 cents? I'm trying to see, like, if someone donated a thousand bits to me, what would I be expecting? I have never paid anything. No. A token not. is five cents, so it's like a dollar fifty a minute. Wow. That's this is pretty way good, dude. Than I, thought it was. That I should be fingering my butthole we on stream. Un immediately polar opposites. You were Rob was like, "That's amazing," and Austin was like, "That's so cheap." <laughs> <laughs> you get, dude. If I was getting paid a dollar fifty a minute right now, are oh, you kidding? Fucking proletariat versus the bourgeoisie over here. <laughs> I'm not fingering my butthole for a dollar fifty a minute. Oh, or absolutely not. The alternative is you got to buy like a thousand minutes at once. I'm not doing any piecemeal, like, two-minute butthole fingerings for three bucks, okay? I don't want to hear meal and butthole Dude. fingering <laughs> I'm just saying, for, for just the NLSS, that's $1,600 a month, just, just like, just straight up. If, and that's not including whatever tips they get on top of that. Mm. I'm not fingering my butthole for any less than $50. All right. <laughs> I came over from NL's chat because you're pretty spot on for how these sites work. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Wait, and you know what? That's the other thing. Is that like, like I said, there were multiple people, so that's just that's just a dollar fifty a minute per person. Oh, no, okay. I see how this that's starts. That's for to a add private up. show, right? Yeah. Well, that's how the per minute works. Yeah, but how can you do two private shows simultaneously? That's not private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so let me fuck with you, okay? Because people mm -hmm. will give you money on Twitch for not yeah. fingering your butthole. Right, that's true. Yeah, strikes me but, as way better for me personally. What I don't if you have really to like doing that? Maybe you really <laughs> yeah, love you fingering like it. I mean, I, I'm with you, but I think you can also like doing it, but not like doing it for Turkey Tugger 89. Fair on... enough, but <laughs> you don't care. Wait, you don't know Turkey that's Tugger, maybe you're right. right. <laughs> All right, here's, here's a controversial opinion, okay? I, I would say that doing that on, on stream rather than what we do on stream might be a level above us in difficulty. I think it's 10 levels above us in terms of difficulty. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I disagree. I think I'm better at fingering my butthole than I am at Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. I probably am too. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm not. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> a lot of lull. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know, dude. If people wanted to watch me jerk off, I'd do it for money. No, I think, uh, yeah, like I, I, I wouldn't want to get into it without knowing whether or not I'd get lots of money for it. But if I right, know, like, that's the right. thing. Yeah. That's the scary part. I'm not yeah. fucking like going into the shame town for like you know fifty bucks. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, right. And this is why Twitch has an exclusive uh, retainer for us in our contracts <laughs> they because don't we would do all want to make side revenue jacking off. Does it count for like uh for that for for like if I'm streaming myself jerking it? 
finger in my butthole? You may not do that. Correct. That's a TOS. Uh, okay. That's that's just a. TOS. Yeah, that would be against the terms of the. Service. I didn't know. Well, I didn't know it counted. I feel like I'm legitimately gonna get a message after the stream. Like, hey, I have money. And... Yeah, you may. Actually. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to make a choice. <laughs> the only way I could do it is if I got involved in that like financial domination side, which, as I understand it, you just like. Uh, you know, from from talking to other people oh. and uh, friends they of pay mine you that to be rich. <laughs> well, well, basically, where you know the the interested party is like, oh yeah, extort me, and you're like, hey, right, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, you small cock bitch, give me a thousand dollars, and they go, oh yes, thank you, mistress, and you're like, this is that's the dream scenario, right? Yeah, is that the really epitome of too much money? <laughs> like, I don't know the, the highest order. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know if they're wealthy. Money is like eating orphans, I think they actually just got the lowest roll ever. If it's like a genetic fetish, they just got <laughs> screwed. It's like, hey, right. here's a fetish that's very, very that. niche, and also it forces you to give away the resource you need to live. Did you hey, say eating how... orphans? <laughs> that took me about a minute to process. <laughs> <laughs> can I, uh, can I ask how wealthy is the fetish? that people have of watching an ugly fat dude jerk off on camera. Is, <laughs> are they a very wealthy demographic? Because I, you know, I'm just asking for a friend. Uh, Is it Dennis? <laughs> Dennis has a child now, come on. I know, that's right. That was, that was important. He has form. no time to jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> this joke has run away from me. <laughs> I can yeah. believe people spending lots of money for specific things, especially oh, yeah. like that. Can you believe it? Yeah. Why? Did we get any stats about like whether the average uh, cam streamer is doing better than the average Twitch streamer? I doubt there's, those numbers are publicly available at all. After, after a whole conversation here, I feel like they're making a fuck ton more money than we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were getting screwed. I think yeah, we're getting real screwed. It's time to union. Or we're not getting paid for it. Dude, a dollar. Okay, you guys said it's low, but a dollar fifty a minute per viewer. That's like the joke thing that we do about like, yeah, it's a dollar a view. Like that's oh, literally yeah. what that is. So we I did mean, do that a lot. But that's <laughs> only when you get a private show. So you do. You got to spend like yeah. forty-five minutes at the start of it being like, "Hey, chicken flopper," <laughs> and then like pretending to be having fun even though you're at work. Like right, yeah. You're, uh, you don't have to look like you're having fun. You just have to gyrate. That's fucked up, dude. And Wait, you have on. music playing, so it's pretty easy to gyrate to the music. What? Hold on. Someone in my chat says, Quiet gay cameras make a lot, and fat guys are more popular than you think. <laughs> hey, hey. Mm, All right. I was really this hoping it was going to be... Like I'm switching over. I thought it was going to be more popular. More popular than you think has a lot right, of yeah. room for interpretation. Yeah, how do you know what <laughs> Rob thinks? <laughs> right, yeah, that's true. Uh, and apparently the numbers are actually publicly available, but they might be biased. Uh, so if you want to do some Reddit research, we might be able to actually put together some kind of prospectus. I yeah, want to know how much money I can make. But here's I'm the whole thing. Thing. maybe they, it's side business now. Are they publicly available in the Social Blade way of publicly available? Or <laughs> I don't know. I make, I can make anywhere between $2 yeah, a year and, and $5 million. Million. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but maybe we can find some actual stats. <laughs> Um, I'm not switching over no matter what they are, just so you know, but like, I was, I was just really curious. Well, but then you see the depends. numbers. <laughs> no, I, it's it would probably ruin that part of my life if I made that, like, what I make my money off. You I'd rather like, keep that for myself. But what if it was that $10 million dollars in a me, single so. day? What if that was the number? How much? $10 million. It's not. That's stupid. Right, he but imagine what if it were. To say, like, is there a ridiculous number that you change yeah. your mind? Uh, what, what number would make you change So your mind? I'd do it for a day, and then I'd be done, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, th I guess that, that's the argument, right? If you and then I'd become an investment third banker. amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was strangest career trajectory of all time. <laughs> GameStop to YouTube to Twitch to porn star to investment banker, all in the space of 10 years. Yeah. Then how you get a job as an investment banker? That yeah. you go into the bank and you're just like, I have a lot of money. And they're like, here's an office. Yeah. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's how you do it. Might I have a lot of information there. Oh, you're lucky. The most ex the most exchanged during a, uh, a webcam show is $42,000 for a one-hour session. Apparently. Fuck. It's quite 
quite a bit. Yeah, well, I okay. Want, I want to know what they but did, But how much though. does Ninja make? The so, most but, points scored in a basketball game is, like, 80. Right. It's yeah. not like I'm just going to slide it into the NBA and be like, sorry, Will Chamberlain. I've Can broken I say, your record. I don't know what... I don't know if this number is accurate, but in your chat, somebody said average of two hundred to a thousand dollars a day on a rough stream length of five hours. Mm, so it's like that's, forty dollars an hour for doing stuff like that. Ah, I mean, I don't know, man. That's Depends more than where I'm you're making. coming from, I guess. <laughs> Depends your your average interest in doing those things versus how much you're making currently. Yeah, I feel like, to be honest. Being bored, because like I can get bored playing a video game on Twitch and still play it and have a fine time. Being bored jerking off, like I wouldn't be able to keep a boner for yeah. several hours. Like no, you gotta keep. Oh, uh, you gotta wear a cock rings. Uh, and it's gonna turn purple a little, so you gotta watch out for that. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna slap me! No, this bitch! You son of a bitch! Yeah. That's even worse. People in chat are like, you know, most streamers leave and come back, so it's not even five hours straight. That's like your whole day is taken up by having to be on the cam, you know, at periodic intervals. Yeah. Well, it's not very different from Twitch, to be honest with you. For most people. Man. Are you explaining to me how Twitch works? <laughs> Dude, you get a Viagra sponsorship. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Medical sponsorships. Well, if it's a five-hour stream and your boner lasts that whole time... Oh, you I'm gotta get it trained, right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know if Viagra's gonna be down for that. Yeah, they don't want to show off that people are getting their boners drained. Not that way, anyway. But it is kind of like a performance-enhancing drug. Does that affect anything? Are what they, like, worries? less interested? You're gonna be banned for... <laughs> illegal substances. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they... Maybe they have high standards like that. Yeah, do they have a commission? Is there like a... <laughs> oh, like the one the Italian Pizza Commission. Right, yeah, yeah. So, here's a question. Okay. If someone approached you, and yeah. all they... And, and you, I'm already out. Let's say if it's a trust <laughs> situation, right? There's no, there's no weirdness going on here. They just said, I want to watch you jerk off once for 20 minutes. Yeah. How much money right. would you need to do that? How much would you need for that video to be spread all over the internet? No, I'm out. No, no, like I said, this is a trust one. They're, they're not going to do it. You can assume it. No, they are. Absolutely. No, no, but they that, are. For no, the sake no, of the argument, though. Let's say, let's say there is that risk. What's the number? Because I think, I think with that risk, I'd say the number for me would probably be like a million dollars. With that wow. risk. If that's the risk, then, then yeah, I want to live for the rest of my life pretty comfortably. What if that's not? <laughs> What? Is this in 1991? <laughs> a million bucks gets you a comfortable life? Is that the implication? Yeah, in, yeah. in New York? <laughs> yeah, well, dude, you could put that into whatever and, and earn 5% and live on the fucking interest, dude. <laughs> you give $50,000 uh, a year? I could live on $50,000 a year. Eh, hey, dream, dream a little larger. <laughs> <laughs> you got him by the again, balls! He approached you, a, presumably with a large briefcase. If somebody's gonna give me a million dollars to watch me jerk off for 20 minutes, I'll take a million dollars. You ever read The Art of the Deal? <laughs> me neither, okay, what, but I what imagine if, what, what it's if, against that kind of stuff. What about without the risk? Without the risk? Without Much the risk. lower, probably. <laughs> like 50 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, might, I might do it for a tenner. You know, I don't know. Depends on how hungry I am that day. I don't know. It would have to, I mean, it's complicated as well, because we got the whole married angle here. <laughs> right, yeah. But, like, That's fair. if it's just one person, and they're like, I'm going to watch you jerk off, and I'm not going to take photos or videos, I could be sold. But yeah. it's going to cost you. <laughs> it's going to cost you dearly. I feel like you have a much higher risk now of getting an email after the show. Honestly, uh, there would, than I'm not messing with you. There would be, like, a lawyer present during the negotiations. <laughs> there would be, like, this is how it's going down, and... <laughs> like, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it right. Like, right, like Ohm yeah. trying to sell that courier in Dota 2. We're going to be <laughs> flying around the country yeah. and pick, <laughs> picking the appropriate venue. And <laughs> yeah. Do you have a secret thrill that, like, the exchange of a briefcase for another briefcase sounds awesome? You know, the money full of, or the briefcase full of money scene? And what it, is is my briefcase full of myself jerking off? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's got like a flash drive or something, yeah. 
Oh, okay. So, so you got like, the, like the, a Mission Impossible. Yeah, stuff. the two cars choose... pull up, and then the bouncer gets out, and then you you both step up to each other with the cases, and you switch them. Okay. And yeah. then you go to the back of the limousine or whatever, and you flip it open. You're like, look at all that money, and you close yeah. it, and you get into the. This is that exciting? Session, if you choose to accept it, will <laughs> on... right. Dude, I think mm. I've seen that Mission Impossible trailer. Yeah. So many times, I actually know everything that happens in the trailer, along with the musical beats. <laughs> like the part where uh, Jim Caviezel, or whatever his name oh, wow. is, co uh, reloads his... Oh, no. It's not Jim Caviezel, that's Army Hammer. He been caught. <laughs> Kate came home at just the right moment. Yeah. <laughs> Abandoned the conversation. You gotta get, a, get permission now. Hey, nice. Stand your ground. <laughs> not in an anecdote, but I do not know if it's an appropriate anecdote. Oh, please do. No, yeah. I, 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 I'm. All right, you're doing it now. No, yeah. I'm still bouncing this one back and forth because I'm trying you're doing to decide it. the damage. Okay. Continue your anecdote. I'll, I'll come to a conclusion afterward. No, I want to know now. Yeah, I'm completely focused on this now. I, I can't think of anything better to say. He's right. Yeah. That's rude. Oh. Just waiting. <laughs> so you <laughs> like, made uh, it awkward now. Yep. Uh, that's the point. Yeah. Uh, I hate you all. Go for I door dash is that what? Go ahead. Yeah, was this it was related completely to door dash? a joke, right? Like <laughs> it wasn't intended as an actual thing, but someone did offer fuck your cockix. Someone did offer to you pay. You offered to fuck your cockix? I offered to fuck my cock. No, they offered to pay an amount of money for certain information. Information? Uh, information. Like the CIA. No, no, no picture, no, no, nothing pornographic. Just. They want to know the size of your penis. They were no, going to pay you along money. Along that line. <laughs> along that line. What? They wanted to know the size of your butthole? This like, happened? The color of your pubic hair? <laughs> what do they want I to know? I just don't want to say, I don't want to say what because I don't want that to lead to a different chain of color. When did this happen? Uh, uh, about a year ago. Hmm. It How was entirely like it was. It was in good humor. It wasn't like. Oh, okay. Yeah. How much was the offer? It's a hundred dollars. Oh. Wow. <laughs> low balling for your low balls. <laughs> was it the length of your nuts? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't think of much else it would be. The angle of the dangle. <laughs> oh. The what games? happened? Oh, oh we were in right. training mode or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. See, my chat's losing their mind because they all know what it was. Oh, cut or uncut. Know what it was in their no. well, they know what it is. Some, one of you guys yeah, because I trust my chat. Me. I don't trust the fucking LSS chat. I'm giving that information away hundreds, up for free. Yeah, hundreds the, and hundreds of dollars of free information on the show. More <laughs> so than I'm even comfortable with. So, hey, someone from Austin's chat, come in here and tell me what it is. No. <laughs> I trust them. <laughs> I just said it. I think I know what it was. It's the length of his nuts? No, I think it's cut or uncut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm cut. You yeah, I, I, that, one's not, that, that one's not. <laughs> is that pretty. the guillotine dropping? You, you no, that was the that sound one. of me saving a hundred bucks. Oh, I'm in America. There's like a ninety percent chance that you, that one you can just assume. Yeah, I'm, I'm in America from a religious family in the South. To mark that to like ninety nine percent yeah. chance. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus okay. won't touch an oh, uncut cop. Ba 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 bam! Sorry. What happened? I'm, uh, somebody literally showed somebody like basically porn. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna go ahead and... For free? That is one of the rules, I'm sorry. Well, you don't have really to apologize. Sorry. Yeah, for that's one of those, like, internet rules where if you haven't figured it out by now, like, come on. Yeah. How do you measure your nut length? Top to bottom? Well, like, yeah. it stretches differently at different times of the day. <laughs> free porn. <laughs> yeah. Like, some sometimes it's long and sometimes it's short. Do you see that guy's name is Tom Clancy, sum of all hente? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was thinking a sub, and I all I heard was hente. Yeah. Hente. That's, the, uh, that's one of the legendary dogs, right? So. <laughs> he pronounced the word wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a totally I, real thing. I don't know. I don't know. Hente. How, how are you supposed to pronounce it? It's hentai. It comes from the two God, Japanese words meaning immoral <laughs> masturbation. I was at seven and Toxic still beat me. Fucking hundreds of people. Like, I just gained like 300 viewers from people trying to ask my chat what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, want to know. Desperate. Now. They really want. Well, I told you already what it was. 
Wait, someone in my chat, go and spy on Austin's chat, and then find oh, out. Yeah, and in my chat, spy on Austin's spies mm. to make sure everything's up on the up and up. Well, someone mm. someone in my chat said it's totally feet, and I I bet I believe that. That's Wait, believe what feet? Feet. They wanted oh, information I, no, not, about his features or anything. No, 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 I know, but he wanted to know the length of your feet. Oh, no. come on. <laughs> hey, ridiculous. Uh, come on, it's the internet. There was a person who doesn't exist anymore who would all, I always ask for a picture of my feet, but he was joking. Mm. Uh, well, he doesn't I, exist I hope. anymore. Yeah, 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> or his account, like, he, he got banned, and uh, I found why. out, like, months later that his account was banned, too, so, I don't know. Oh. That's so why it they didn't exist like anymore. You probably, you weren't the only one who was asking for pictures. Of That's what it sounds like, yeah. Yeah. People really wanted to know how tall we were for a long time. Yeah. And eventually, we just kind of gave that one up for some reason. Oh, oh yeah. Internet. Was out. On the internet, everybody's like six one. I was hoping that we could eventually leverage that somehow, but you know, we just gave it up. Well, I mean, you guys are saying I, I could have monetized whether to tell people I, if I was cut or uncut. Shit, dude, I should have done that. You tell me you can monetize playing Goldeneye badly? <laughs> yeah. I'm still not over that. Classic. Girth? How do you measure girth? I uh, guess, you what wrap do you it mean? around. How do you measure? Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess it's not that hard. But I'm so just how saying, do you like... measure a cylinder? Hmm. Yeah, no, <laughs> somebody I mean. comes up with some kind of like. Uh, <laughs> some kind I just of mean like. Mathematical like... expression to. If somebody gave you a non-absurd uh, girth size, Simbody. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Okay. Yeah, no. But if somebody gave you a non-absurd girth size, would you be able to visualize well, how? There's a great real-world example. In okay. American Pie 2, Stifler says, "My dick is 12 inches around," and right, then yeah. I only oh laughed God. when I saw it because everybody else laughed. And then <laughs> later, I was like, "I don't get it." For two reasons. One is I live in a metric country because I'm like, you know, <laughs> sane. And then the other one is I don't know if that's huge or small or, or what. And that's then enormous. Yeah, it's an it's like one sixth the size of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's a circle, so it's harder to visualize, you know? Yeah. You know All right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm trying to like visualize oh. in my head how much money I can make with information all alone. Now. <laughs> are you gonna be uh, you gonna be Varus now? Are, yeah, yeah, are you some kind of like the spider internet just... spy? Or, a, or be a sysadmin. <laughs> <minute. laughs> no, when you said that, it sounded like you were saying like a slur or something. Yeah, I heard that honest. too. Yeah. <laughs> no, if I said it like a slur, it'd be a sysadmin. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, I get you. Yeah. All right, there's a lot of ways I could take this joke, and I'm just gonna abandon all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a, that seems fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that seems... I pressed the abort button on mm. that one. Yeah. 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 Cambridge I mean, I don't know. Analytica. I like exactly. <laughs> I, I would not be able to visualize a non-absurd girth number at all. Like, is there like a website that gives you like a 3D model? So Are you, you serious? <laughs> I'm bad. Yeah, of course, there's a website for that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Is there like 3dcheckmygirth.com? <laughs> you type in the measurements. <laughs> like if somebody oh said, "I have abnormally large nipples," I'm not saying for myself. Yeah. But like, what would you picture? Would it be three inches long? Like, how big were That's these it. nipples? Those would be insanely long. <laughs> Those yeah, would be huge. really long. They look yeah. like Nick Jonas, exactly. Well, especially when you mean <laughs> long, you know, because I'm, I'm assuming yeah. we're, we're going in Z here. No! Oh! I gave up the What's, final kill. How many inches across is the average pepperoni? Like, less than one? <laughs> what? Well, it's like one sixth of my size, so. Well, a disc, <laughs> the, the most common disc I see in my everyday life is a pepperoni, is what I'm thinking. You don't I see really large in your everyday though. life. <laughs> you don't see <laughs> coins that often. I well, to be honest, <laughs> I don't. I usually pay with my credit card. But you uh, see, good but you good see point. pepperonis more than you see coins. It, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. You know, I as absurd as it sounds, maybe yes. <laughs> I mean, no, absolutely yes for me. I didn't realize that I saw pepperonis more than coins in my life. <laughs> it's very strange. Right. Ha <laughs>
I had no idea. <laughs> Wow, we gotta we gotta, we gotta get a straw pull for that one on the circle. <laughs> we gotta figure that one out. That's that's how. Oh, uh, that's stupid as hell. Dude, I don't see pepperoni basically ever. I only see it in pizza <laughs> situations. Me too. Do you guys ever think uh, it's so bullshit? This is a question for everybody but Austin. Um, wow. You, well, you'll see why. You ever think it's bullshit that like a grocery store can close at? Midnight or 11 p.m., but then like the deli station and the seafood counter close a couple hours earlier than that. Yes, and the mm -hmm. pharmacy. It's like the last call for the grocery store. Like they should have to advertise it. Yeah, it is. It is. Bullshit. The pharmacy does advertise. The it. pharmacy does every time. Yeah. Yeah. It pisses me off because sometimes I go to the grocery store and I'm like, I'd really like to get some smoked salmon, oh. and it's sitting there in the glass case with a little bit of paper over top of it, but there is no liaison that exists for me to get the smoked salmon from the case to myself. You cannot self-serve it, you cannot, uh, you know, there's no pre-packaged varieties, you just gotta wait till tomorrow. Can I ah. conjecture a most likely wrong reason for that? Yeah. Because maybe the people at the deli counter are like, like certified butchers or something, mm. and they have to like, uh, they have like a different set of rules. I don't know. No. Chat, I'm so mad at you lately. Someone said, <laughs> uh, I work at a grocery store. I shouldn't have to stay until 2 a.m. just because you want to buy smoked salmon late. What if they hired another person? I'm assuming you don't man the grocery store, t you know, 20... When I go to a 7-Eleven that's open 24 hours, I don't look at the dude Oof. behind the counter and go, Man, <laughs> you look tired. Have you been up for 365 days straight? So. I need to pose a guest espionage question to you all now that I have some of these poll results in. Uh, so, what percentage of the population of our viewers sees coins more often than pepperonis? Dude, I'm telling say. you, straw poll on the circle jerk. I'm ready. No, it's, I have the straw poll in front of me. I'm asking you what percentage so I can compare it to I the I would result. assume that it's like 85% of people see coins more often than pepperoni. Okay, and then uh, more or less for you, Rob. I'd say 70 more or less for you, Austin. Uh, I think more people... Wait, Ryan said 80 have seen coins and pepperoni? Yes. Uh, I think it's less. Okay, we got two correct answers. We have 77% for seeing coins. Oh, okay. So yeah. I am in the vast minority when I say pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I never would have known this information if not for the show. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, good to know. I never even would have thought to ask the question. A to win. <laughs> also, and I agree, a, it's BS. Here's a visual note. So Wolf in my chat said uh, that a two-liter bottle of soda is roughly 12 inches in six. All right, that's a thick dick. That's oh my it. god. That's, that would that, that there is no vagina that could fit. That is high-level expert to be able to handle one of those. That's a 75 yeah. token a minute fetish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah yeah. You're a career veteran if you're talking about in that. That's like having your PhD in being a yep, a cam girl or boy. How much how much do those like extreme fetish people get on on those sites? Like what you know those dudes who like inject saline in their balls and make oh really or the ones that completely <laughs> disembowel their asshole. Oh yeah yeah yeah. There's that. I hate I that one. Thing. That yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, that one like makes that one me actually feel like, like icky and gross. <laughs> that one totally or, uh... doesn't give me a big old boner. <laughs> <laughs> boner. <laughs> Hi Pluto. I'm sorry you came into chat when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch really loves this show. Yep. Sorry Twitch. I know who Pluto is because I have seen a picture of them crouched in prayer on Twitter many times huh. and for a long time I said what is this and then eventually they tagged him and I was like oh okay is this guy and that's I'm not sure we're talking about the same Pluto to be honest I'm talking about the dog from the Disney movie oh crouched in prayer of course you can't use more than four finger on chatterbait fuck what? I know is that a rule I almost yeah. the fact that you said it like that it has to be a rule Wait, what's the no way? That's wait, wait. A rule. So they no fisting allowed. No is what fisting they're saying. is what that rule that's is. That's <laughs> yep. Unless you what? can fist yourself with four fingers. What if you're missing your thumb? <laughs> yeah, does the thumb count? The thumb? Yeah, thumb's a finger. Come on. I think everyone here agrees that's the a, thumb that's is a, a finger, good right? Rule. I think that's a good rule. That's a safety. That's an OSHA rule right there. 
<laughs> so you can karate chop your vulva, but you can't do an op like a regular punch. <laughs> oh, so I could uh, light myself on fire, but I couldn't put five fingers in my pussy. <laughs> I can't believe people are saying the thumb is not a finger in my chat. <laughs> That's insane. Are they, you're not serious, right? You're just trolling. You. The thumb, the thumb is a finger. Or my butt, exactly. Right, yeah. Pluto oh, is very yeah. confused now because of what you said. We might be talking about two different people. That's all right. Yeah, I think so. You're going to have to kill the other Pluto, though. No, I don't. Not you, him. The thumb is <laughs> a <digit? laughs> Sorry. This is a dumb... They're all digits. They're all fingers. Is this like a, you know, uh, black and white is not a color thing? Their values. No, it's yeah. a square rhombus thing. Is it, a, is it just a square rhombus? Uh, no, a rhombus is different from a square. <laughs> right, yeah. That's... I'm a living <laughs> legend, but only for this specific round. A rhombus is... No, the square has all 90 degree angles. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, what? Uh, us, all squares are rhombuses, but not all rhombuses are squares. When all the angles lock in at 90, doesn't the rhombus not become a rhombus anymore? No! Uh, no. All, all squares are rhombuses. Okay, so rhombus is a higher classification in the strata than a square is. Yes. Is there anything higher than a rhombus? What, what do you mean higher? <laughs> like a okay, pentagon higher is higher, it has no, one that's more not side. What I'm saying. That's not at all what I'm saying. Did you even hear what I just said? I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> So, if every square is a rhombus, that means that the square is subordinate to the rhombus. I don't use that terminology. <laughs> Why? That's a totally valid thing to say. The rhombus dominates the square. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's... Does that exist? No, is there is there God. geometry porn? <laughs> what? Oh, dude, because I've been so, like, I mean, it's been a meme over the past, like, week but I, oh. we've discovered a strange world of lore filled pornography they're parallelograms I'm, <laughs> there's three <laughs> tiers sorry go ahead yeah i'm just trying to find there, where but, uh, the line is and a quadrilateral so there's four tiers what line though i what? i'm I, of what what people jerk off to i guess i don't, I don't think, think people, there is one i don't think i'm on the opposite side i don't think people jerk off to it I think to they what, just though? wait. Uh, Rob's talking asking to the, an unspecific question. To the geometry porn. Oh, I think that's yeah. just one of those things you draw it as like a satire, and yeah, then like everybody sees it and goes, "Oh my god, people jerk off to this!" Right, right. Like that the, doesn't. Ha I don't think that happens as much as you think it does. Like the plain ladies. Mm. Mm, yes, I'm, I'm with you. And it took me a second. I thought you were talking about the lady who got sucked out of the window. No, <laughs> no, no. no that's and I was gross. like, that's morally abhorrent. They okay, have look. jet engine legs and stuff. I know you shouldn't, like, take chat as a credible source, but I'm just going to say that this particular chatter is known as Pussy Fuck Tennessee. I love that <laughs> so, guy. So I'm just going to say, like, he's probably credible. Uh, he says you can ask for bigger stuff on Chatterbait, but you need to sign a waiver and release of liability. Wow. Yeah. They're yeah, doing I believe it legit whatever over he there. says. Yeah, they, they do it. They I guess they go straight up there. Right up? I, I do yeah. want to know now, someone in my chat made this joke, but like, I want to see what would happen if there was an OSHA list of rules for Chatterbait. Like, <laughs> you can actually add No them. anime. <laughs> Why not? That's number one. <laughs> That's because I said so. As long as I'm signing the checks, no anime. Are you an OSHA? <laughs> <laughs> Does that also include silicon casts of fists? That's a good question. You mean like yeah. one of the Hulk hands from the first Avengers movie? <laughs> yes, exactly that, yes. <laughs> you know there's a port of that somewhere on the internet. I don't think anyone could take one of those. I don't know, dude. I watched no, the real question, pop baseballs out of her vag like it was a batting range. Is Do all they make a distinction between <laughs> actual organic living human flesh and silicone cast? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it counts. It, it should I matter. Just end me. Uh. I should have gone for that run. <laughs> they do Dude, not. I'm pissed, man. So I've been trying to like live a healthy lifestyle. I was going to go for a bike ride today. Got up early. It's fucking raining. No one told uh. me this was like a thing that could happen. So I, no like, one told your life was going to be this way. 
I actually Dude. went to like the weather report and like I looked outside and I was like, it's fucking raining. And then I went on my phone and was like, is it's it raining? raining? Yeah, and, and the, yeah. the weather was like 40% chance of precipitation. And I was like, no, I want to believe, but I've seen with my own eyes. You know what you should do is you should duct tape a an umbrella to you. <laughs> Just anywhere? And, right, yeah, it doesn't really matter. D duct tape it to your shoe. See what happens. Oh, I mean, it would, like, guard your leg, I guess. It'd be really uncomfortable to walk, though, I think. Well, here's the thing, okay? So I can... I don't have one of those plastic bags that you buy for your helmet that costs $100, even though it's just a plastic bag. But it says, like, <laughs> Shimono or something on it, so that's why Shimona, it's expensive. Shimono, <laughs> Yeah. So all the... All the water is gonna go through my helmet. And then I don't have the second plastic bag, a.k.a. hair, so it's just going to roll in my face, and I'm going to have water in my face the whole time. And the thing is, people always, and you guys can relate, I'm sure, they always go, what are you complaining about? You got glasses. It's worse with glasses, because when you get water on your glasses, it's there for a hundred years. It, it's yeah, in, in humid climates, it's extremely hard to get the water off. I'm the it only one just here rolls. who doesn't wear glasses. Huh? Yeah. Huh. You're really missing out. Genetic Fuck lottery. Nerds. <laughs> I didn't wear until I was like 25, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Wait, yeah, do you not need glasses or you just never really checked? No, I, I don't really. Because I when, don't I, need glasses. <laughs> when I was in fifth grade, I was like, I don't need glasses. And then when I took the eye test, they were like, you're joking. <laughs> I. How did you get here today? <laughs> well, I didn't the drive, one, so... Yeah. The one thing that happens to me, I don't know if it's a thing, but, like, if I'm tired, I struggle to to, to keep my eyes focused. That's the only thing. Okay, that's pretty normal. I think most Is people it? do that. Yeah. I could, re I could read pretty small texts from pretty far away. I like, can look level here, 8 small? Let's see. I can read... But can you read close to your face? Oh, Because, like, Lord. at one point, I just can memorized it, and the last line on my eye test was D E F P O T E C, and I Death really fucked Pirates myself. of the Caribbean. Yeah, D E F P O T E C, and I never needed to read it again because I just had it in my head. <laughs> Dude, the other thing is, so I was last night. I googled like, why do cyclists shave their <laughs> legs? Right? They're not. I, I get why swimmers shave because no, their legs. <laughs> well, I get why swimmer shave because water is like heavy, so like the drag makes a huge difference. But I was like, for cycling, it seems a little overkill. And there was a study that was done, and it was like, over, if you're a really, really good rider over like a 40 mile ride, you could save 50 or 90 seconds or something like that. And I was like, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. That seems like a ton. Um, but then the Google related searches was, was like, why do cyclists shave their balls? And <laughs> I said, do they? And then secondly, I tweeted it, and everyone said for aerodynamics, and I'm like, I don't want to be in your neighborhood when you're riding around. <laughs> Are you I using think... your balls like like a drag racer? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just a long regurgitated Lance Armstrong joke, to be honest. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So mainly. Oh, why are you cold? Shaving for swimming doesn't actually do anything. We just use it like a placebo. Isn't it not a placebo if you know about it? Well, you know what? You got a point there. Lance Armstrong has one ball. It gives him an unfair advantage because, you know, right. that's, like, that's like a few grams. Dude, can I just say, though, like, I mean, I don't think, obviously, I don't think it's an unfair advantage that he has one ball, but... I do. Bike seats kind of suck, like for the most part. Yeah, that's yeah. why Unix are the fastest bikers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's true, but I do feel like almost all of your weight ends up over your softest tissue in your body, almost. Yeah, they have they they're designed with like a fucking spear that goes right into your gooch and underball area. <laughs> and yeah, but then like... you just get like a callous taint, and then it, it's all good. Right. Yeah, that's true. Oof. If you have a callus taint, does your wife have to moisturize it? Mm, if you want to lose the callus, I guess. Mm. What if you want to lose your callus R? What do you do then? Marry her off? I don't know what that means. Cal <laughs> it's, a, it's a Game of Thrones. Isn't he called a call? 
Uh, well, the Kal is the name of the king. The Kalasar is his kingdom. You ever think it's fucked up that in like that Shadows of Tsushima game, the Mongols nah. are the bad guys? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a lot of time to think about it, but now that you mention it, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, dude, I when that came on, I asked Chad, I was like, did the Mongols ever even invade Japan? And everybody's like, they, oh my god, twice! They yeah. told you the story of how the word kamikaze was invented to refer to the right. divine wind that stopped them from reaching the main islands. Mm. Huh. Yeah. So I didn't know that, actually. So that's pretty interesting. The they got mad at me when I said that that it was Japanese, and then they were like, "It's obviously Chinese." And then I, I apologized, and then they were like, "Actually, it is Japanese." Yeah. So I got to be dumb twice. Japanese. Yeah. That was, yeah. It's called Ghost of Sashimi. <laughs> I mean, I know that, but I thought I missed something. Well, I think it's because they were they were like, "It's the Mongols," so it's got to be China, right? Mm. Except for literally everything else in the trailer. <laughs> hey, hey. So I was not, like, mad at the guy for so-called cultural appropriation <laughs> for playing the pan flute, but I was also like... Wait, did that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if anyone got mad about it. I think mostly it's been satire. They've been like, look at this okay. cool Christopher Guest-looking guy playing the pan flute. But I will say... I didn't know we were allowed to wear those hats. <laughs> Come on! The flute I thought was fine, but I thought that was the hat that we're not allowed to wear. <laughs> I don't know. You know the hat. I pro I wouldn't wear the hat until I knew better. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Get good. <laughs> Yeah, my culture is not your hat, precisely. <laughs> That's exactly I swear, I where I was at. If Coxic wasn't playing with us, I could probably win one round every time we play it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. And that's not a dig at you, Coxic. You're very good, but you're too good. Have we confirmed he's very good? There's this thing called Aimbot. I don't know. I think he's that? very good. Yeah, that's somebody Split. yelled at me about that. I didn't notice, I didn't notice it either. I just um, got a double yeah. cougar headshot again. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, six score, nine deaths, so I win. I'm just saying, if I'm able to wear the hat... <laughs> it looks like a pretty cool hat! I might start rocking it. Because, you know, the baseball hat has been like the de facto headwear of choice for a long time, at least in North yeah. America. And there's no reason that a baseball hat should be like... It's the same as, like, I made that tweet about jeans, where I was like, you know, why are jeans the number one pants in North America? Like, there's lots of different pants. I like jeans, but, you know, mix it up a little bit. Don't you think that hat would be super itchy, though? Like, if you get a little sweat in it, it would just be extremely itchy. I, I don't know. Is I never it made of one. straw? It looks like it, yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I tuned out of this conversation when we stopped <laughs> talking about porn. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, yeah. I always assume that about halfway into Goldeneye, you just resolve to win one, and then kind of, like, disappear into the ether until it becomes clear that Kakix will win every single round, yeah. and then, <laughs> then you come back. I don't like a hat that requires a, a chin strap, though. Mm, yeah. I don't know, they, they look pretty badass. You ever worn one? <laughs> Fuck. They do, yeah. <laughs> like the like the bobby helmets, the fuzzy hats mm. with the chin strap, those look badass. What about I, those oh. sweet hats that are in kung fu movies sometimes, where it's like a straw box on your face, like completely? <laughs> oh, I know exactly that? what you mean. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 they those have like bars badass. on them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those like are a, cool. Like a Tekken character? Uh, I know, yeah. It's a strong. Did they box. use them? I think they're like uh, Naginata practice helmets or something. What? The yeah, maybe. Fuck? Maybe I'm totally off base there, but I definitely know what you mean. Is oh a, a kendo helmet? Kendo. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not. I'm not actually thinking. I, it is made entirely of straw. I'm. Uh, hold on. Let me try to find out what it is. Did you guys? Also I feel like they've got a lot of that in Dynasty Warriors. That we we won the World Cup. Oh, congrats. You? Like you and me and Mexico uh, and F-Snow. Yeah, we're going to be hosting the World Cup together in 2026. 
Yeah, I really like the name that they uh, thought up for it, the uh, Come 2026. Yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a good bid. We beat Morocco, it, which is pretty cool. Is it called a yeah. B-Bar? No, it's called a Camuso. Camuso. Mm, yeah, Camuso. Yeah, I'll, I'll link I gotta look this up. Yeah. yeah, okay, send me a link. Yeah, it's called a Camuso. Yeah, why not? I'll, it I'll go too. click it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, that is a basket. It's basically, yeah, it's basically a basket. Oh, of course, it means monk of emptiness. That's what I would call <laughs> a hat that I invented, too. That's I think it's name. badass, honestly. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, no, it did not crash. I'm back. Monk and of now emptiness. I'm dead, and Cockix wins. <laughs> you want to move on to Jackbox? Yes. Yeah. I'll oh, my it. God. I got second place. I can't be too mad. No, that's, that's first. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, good games, Cockix. Twitch. Somebody give me a Camuso. I would like to run advertisements, please. So I've seen derivations of a Camuso that have, like, metal bars through them, and they just make you look like a demon. <laughs> it's a good look. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, that new uh, FromSoft game will probably have this guy as, a like, an enemy. I would not be surprised if there was a demon wearing a Camuso in that, yeah. in that game. Because you and can't then... see their face. All the people with their question, it was question marking me. You're gonna be like, "Oh, that's my favorite enemy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm gonna get a tube put down my throat tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about it. Sounds terrible. Yeah. Oh, Hi, Bear. Taffy. Hey. It's going, Bear. Tell me more about your tube throat. Tell me no. more, tell me more. Does she live on the floor? In one minute, I'm not allowed to eat anymore until tomorrow afternoon. Oh, That's... no. No. Dude, dude, eat a steak right now. No, yeah, I don't dude. have a steak in front of me. What are you doing so sitting happening. here not eating? I'm yeah. doing the stream. And then at midnight, I can't drink anymore until tomorrow afternoon. Oh, God. So I'm going to get lots of water in after the stream. Jeez, man. This is rough. I hope I'm very to... knocked out when they do it. Cause I don't I'm gonna think they knock it. you out for it. I think they'll knock me out because I'm going to choke on it super hard. Did you not ask? No, she said they knock you out. But, like, I don't know if it's, like, when they say knock you out, do they mean, like, you're still sort of lucid? Or do they mean, like, you're unconscious? I probably should have okay. asked at the time. Quick question. What did Mama say, though? Because Mama said oh, knock you out, but I right. Mama's not doing the procedure. Mm -hmm. Throw That's Mama off the train. Point. Yes. You know that, right, Rob? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mama just killed a man. Mm. That's oh, we could do... <laughs> we could do lots of you choked on me jokes after that. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah there you go. What's that from? Oh, yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, Jolly Ranchers had a tweet moment with us. It was kind of oh, funny. Oh, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I won't be on the show tomorrow. tomorrow. We got a fucking problem. Yeah, you're opening that too loud. <laughs> you are opening it up. <laughs> All right, loud. fair enough. <laughs> My apologies. God, streamer eating on stream. So unprofessional. I'm being straight up with you. Yeah. I don't think streaming is a very difficult job. Yeah. But I get so fucking hungry. <laughs> yeah, it sucks the energy yeah. out of you in I a bizarre don't, way. I, I really think it's like the first, when I was a kid, I was like, you know, oh, exercise makes you hungry. Now I'm like, the brain is working like 180% capacity during the stream. It's like overclocked. Yeah. And you That's eat like a how you do it. You need to eat like a granola bar an hour. No, mental fatigue is like a real thing, man. How'd you overclock it, your head? It, you think you're just saying it, but like for real, it really makes you incredibly hungry. I in know. A way that yeah. I, nothing else I've done has made me that hungry. I'm with you, dude. I'm pretty hungry just all the time. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah, me too, for obvious reasons. I think I could actually eat like an infinite amount of food. I'm really yeah. glad you didn't say infant because it really sounds <laughs> like <laughs> well, well, you're offering. Anyway. <laughs> um, like when you guys get a pizza. What's your, yeah. like, this is a normal serving of pizza for when the pizza first arrives? And you're excited about it. Right, take two slices every time. Two slices, Dude, yeah. I'm going to take you on a journey with me here. Please, like, yes. Ooh, yeah. 
I can get a pizza, and if I, if I'm not actively aware of what's going on, it'll like it'll go away. Yeah, it's just slice by slice by slice. So it's just so tasty. I'm with it's you, so dude. Good. It doesn't even seem like it's really filling up that much space either, because you can just keep going with that shit, and it's it's so form fitting to eat. It's so convenient. <laughs> it's the best. And it's then the, it's the exact shape of your stomach. At the I know. <laughs> So can we, can I actually, so when I, uh, we were doing E3 the other day, we were on webcam and we had pizza and a lot of people were in my chat. It's like, oh my God, that pizza is so massive. It's it disgusting. I saw well, that and I, I felt your rage. Because <laughs> people were okay. like, that pizza looks like shit. Yeah. I live in Croatia and pizzas here don't look like that. And I'm like, you can't <laughs> just... <laughs> We can make fun of New York for like a lot of things, but I'm sure the pizza was fine. The pizza, that, actually, that pizza place is very good. But, um, but I will say that like typically, like here, the minimum, unless you're getting like a personal pizza or like a like a particularly small pizza on purpose, the minimum is gonna be a 16 inch pizza. That's that's gonna be what it is. What that's now? An I'm even. Large I'm extremely yeah. mad because that is a girth. And you clearly do have some concept of how to interpret that. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. I don't, point. I don't know. I, I like. Is that so? Is that sixteen across? Like, what is? You know, now I always assume that's know. what it was. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it, it is across. It's, not a, it's a sixteen yeah, yeah. in length. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you, you know, the, the girth is the two pi r. It's the circumference, right? Two I don't think you're r. really. What? You, no. You've got girth? all the tools to measure the girth if you know the sixteen incher. Not but sure. what's pi? <laughs> we're missing. We're missing a pizza. One. Yeah, missing no, there was a pizza sorry, pie yeah, joke yeah, somewhere yeah. in there. We're yeah, missing yeah, a Robert, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, my bad. My, oh, bad. my so, bad. No worries. Is the yeah. diameter is the one that goes from the outer edge to the center point? That's the yes. radius. Yeah, that's, that's the, the radius. radius. Okay. Radius. So but yeah, it is two stupid because okay, the no. diameter is just twice the radius. It's like come up with, make up your mind. Hey, what do you think lab. would happen if we found the end of pi? I had a dream all together. Hmm. Oh, you know there is an end? You like could just shut end. up about it after that <laughs> point. Finally, <laughs> we could stop using it and just replace it with a number. It's so much more convenient. Right, yeah. hmm. Okay, so someone in my chat says pizzas are measured by diameter, girth is by circumference. Yeah, but the good to know. The circumference is a property I... of the diameter for talking about Hold on. circle, though. Well, yeah, but it's not the same. Why do you think there's an end to pi? I got, well, no, I gotta interrupt here because chat's like, there is no end, idiot. Use your fucking <laughs> imagination. Maybe you just haven't tried hard enough. <laughs> it's like when you're trying to unwrap your tangled headphones, you know? You're like, I'm never gonna get this done. Then you just find the terminus and you start pulling from there. Mm. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, yeah. What a yeah, weird man. coincidence in this set of prompts. <laughs> when there's when there's some kind of pie news recently, there's like something with an AI and pie and We had Pi Day a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. That must be what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of Pi Day? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was it, yeah, you're right. I mean that is news. No. So stop <laughs> it <isn't>. shaming me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think pi ends. It does. No. But the idea is is that if it doesn't, it would imply that it's a simulation. It would mm. imply, you mean. Wait, <laughs> why would it imply? Oh, nice. Why would because, it imply that it's a simulation? Because it wouldn't it would imply it. Because you can't have an infinite like a faster sequence. way to get home from the land of Oz <laughs> is to <laughs> click your heels three times and say, Anyone have lift? Or click your heels three times and say nothing and then wait for the bus to arrive. Okay, I gotta get to the bottom of this pie question because this it sounds really imply that there is a, the, a simulation on the computer <laughs> as a finite amount of space, so you can't store an oh, infinite sequence hey, that's, that's on the computer. Surprisingly yeah. astute observation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if it's infinite, it we're not in a simulation. Yes. But, but we, we can't, can't ever know the end to an infinite right. number. That's that's kind of the, the whole. So show. this is not a question; it's just moot. Yes. Speaking it's of pie, it's philosophy. It's theoretical. Okay. I like chocolate satin pie. 
Ooh, <laughs> that is good. How, how do you guys feel about lemon meringue? Not bad, not bad. I like it. I'm a big fan. I like key lime. But when does it end? <laughs> you never know. The toy surprise <laughs> in an unhappy meal. An Arby's sandwich or a pepperoni and a coin. Yeah, what if our understanding of math is fundamentally wrong? It could imply that too, yeah, but I, I don't think that would. That would be crazy. All the math we know is completely based on the wrong thing. I don't but think anyone in chat is real. The point of math is that math isn't like we made up math. Math doesn't matter. I know. Yeah, exist. some old it's... Greek dude, the year zero. We're still <laughs> oh, the going around saying it like it's gospel. No, I know it, it's not real, but it still could be based on like a false concept that we could correct better. Oh, if there's a equation in it. I feel like math is more real than like you know language or or, or something it, like. It, yeah, it's, it does it's map kind of to more real to, things. Yeah. Only here on the NLSS can you go from cam discussions <laughs> to the philosophy of math. <laughs> from nobody who holds a math or a philosophy degree. <laughs> right, yeah. The one phrase the NSA <laughs> the one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google. Why can't I use five fingers on campsite or geometry porn? <laughs> Don't the majority of us hold degrees though? Yeah. I yeah. took one philosophy and one math class in college. <laughs> I'm not trying to justify it. I'm, I'm not just, kidding. I was just curious at that point. I know. You think that's, I'm why I'm, not... that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what they call pooping in the land of Oz. Waiting for the bus or paving the yellow brick road. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So if you have three apples, you know that the mapping of our number three maps to the apples, but the name apple is completely made up. Yeah. Let me talk with you. To say. So is yeah. the name three. The concept no. of their yeah, but the concept three. of three, not the number. Well, that wasn't yeah. that kind of made up too, though. Like, no. Hey, Taffy, I'm real, and I want to eat your butthole. <laughs> oh, see, now you're definitely not real. No one wants to do that. I don't think about do that. when you you can break down math because like the idea of infinity, right? And like. Next. In math, there are multiple kinds of infinity, but in life, not only is there not infinity, but there's, there's not multiple kinds of infinity because what do you there mean? is no what infinity. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am galaxy braining right now. <laughs> what do you mean that there's not infinity in real life? Oh, thank you. You can't have infinity. Nothing is infinite. How do we know that? There could be infinite bacteria in the universe. There could be infinite space in- Chat, the only way to stop this bit is to use your bits. Use your bits <laughs> now on twitch.tv slash Northern Lion and stop this bit today. Cheer the brains away. I mean, the universe could be infinite. We don't know. I'll keep this. Well, Austin's saying it's not, but I don't know why he knows that. It's, we, we can't know. know, yeah, we can't know that it is, or it doesn't mean infinity exists. Well, there's some bits. You guys have to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at the tip of my dick the other day. There we go. That's more like it. Wait, why have don't we talked we have about two, quaternions yet? Why don't we have two holes, one for piss and one for cum? That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, agree. I agree with that. You I'm got me. You. I'm yeah. off to infinity I'm, I'm, now. I agree, yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice. You think, like, eventually we'll evolve to that? Do you think humans are still capable of evolution? Booty infinity. <laughs> yes! Yeah, What like, do you mean? For, for sure. Wait, it's not a yeah. thing that we're capable of, it just is. But, like, rapid evolution, though. I'm talking about, like, developing another hole for your dick within the next 25 years. <laughs> like, on my present dick, or, like... <laughs> well, that, that only happens in, like, bot flies, so, yeah. like, I don't think any... It's, like, uh... nothing, really. You see, like infinity and then no, <laughs> Caternians are like the the Unity Dev D A E. Like right. well if you think filing your taxes is hard, you should never look at Caternians. I'm like, it's a it's a rotation. It sounds like an ancient race. <laughs> <laughs> People picture they picture like that endless knot. Yeah. No, where does it start? Where does it end? Is like really a Mobius just, fractal. <laughs> it's just kind of like a rotation. It's the fourth dimension. Isn't that weird? 
A fun trick to play on your doctor. Pretend you're dead and then go boo, or never see him, then blame him when you die. <laughs> Good yeah. prank, bro. Yeah. <laughs> would, would, you, would I just write that in my will? Like, I blame you, doctor, I haven't seen in 50 years. <laughs> That, no, the autopsy would be like, well, he could have avoided dying had he been to his doctor oh. over the last 30 years. Here's a hard-hitting question. Uh, Is it still evolution if we genetically modify our own genes? Because we're the ones responsible for it, but we're also of ultimately natural origins. See, I was thinking about bringing this up, but I figured it was best not to. But, I mean, I well, think, yeah. still monkeys, Rob. <laughs> No, that's not why. I'm just saying, like, you know. A rejected probably... shape for marshmallow peeps. Baby chicken or marshmallow default? Voting for baby chicken just, like, I'm giving it hope. I know that's I not think... what evolution actually is. It was a joke. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I'm telling you, we can not talk about science or porn. We're really just, like, on the one or two right now. Yeah, Chad, would you prefer the porn or the science? Can we do math-based porn? Geometry sure, porn? Yeah. Numbers Geometry, fucking. Yeah. What's the sexiest number? 69. Let me no, answer. like a single That's digit. Obvious. I'm gonna an single. answer your question with another seven. question. Why is six afraid of seven? Afraid of seven, because seven ain't nine. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, this problem. <laughs> the name of a font nobody would ever use. Dong dings or Wong dongs. Yeah. So went, went in the same direction on that one, huh? I just wanted to appreciate the consistency. Anyway, continue. Uh, eight's got curves. Everyone's saying eight. Oh, because yeah. if you turn it sideways, it's booty infinity. Eight! Uh, yeah. yeah, eight is pretty sexy, Isn't that right? that a Stanley yeah. terrible thing? I kind of like nine. Why? Because it's got something for everybody. It's got a whole, seven, eight, eight. It's got a whole end of protrusion. Next oh, that's yeah. fair. And if it's you like, turn it 90 it's like degrees, a Swiss it looks army like a chicken knife. balls. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's what's better, six or nine? Ladies oh, love my balls. protrusion. <laughs> well, if the typography is correct, I mean, it's just a reflection of the other yeah. one. So, which one gets the line? Neither I feel like I always end up with that question. Whenever I play a board game, they always put a line under one of them. But uh, then whenever I, the I oh, whenever I, I roll it, nine, I have to be yeah. like, wait, do they put the line under the six or the nine? We got uh, Magic the Gathering decks at GameStop yesterday, me and Jess, and uh, they came with dice, and they do a little dot at the bottom right. Oh, that's the pretty cool. Dots. Yeah. Elegant. Zero never gets any love. It's, yeah, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. It'll listen, work out. Listen, bitch. Coming up next, <laughs> it's not a dice, really motherfucker. It's a, a spin die. down counter. <laughs> in order to right. measure oh. your life. You're when you look right. at That's a dice, it, does yeah. it go one, two, three, four, five, six contiguously? That would lead to clumped variance and weighted rolls. <laughs> Didn't what, I so passionate about this? What really cracked the Liberty Bell? <laughs> it looked at your face or Patty's Pub? Yep. Dude, yeah, this okay. it, I had this happen many times. Well, twice, but that's more than it ever should have. Where you'd be at Friday Night Magic and you'd be like, roll to see who goes first, and you'd use your spin down, and the person would be like, nah, we're gonna use this dice, because it's more random. Yeah, like, all right, it's gonna be, you know what? I resign, and, uh. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would probably shoot myself. It's gonna be one of those, so <laughs> you can take the win on this one. Well, actually, during your main phase, you can't declare, uh, Talk about the stack. Well, come on, if it's the rules. <laughs> Don't get mad at that guy. Yeah. Just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Judge! Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to lean into that one. <laughs> the shit out of me. <laughs> the weirdest oh room you could see in an airport. It got off the screen when I was reading it. Would be one specifically oh. designated for. Mm. Um, I got a real I question got... related to this, by the way. Okay. How do you feel about using the bathroom in the airport where the sign is a baby and it's meant to be used for changing babies, but also has a perfectly good shitter in there? In the changing thing? I thought the yeah. changing thing happens outside of the stall. I'm yeah, not it's sure. It's outside, isn't it? 
It's like a stand. The ones we have here is like a standalone bathroom. There's a toilet and a table, and like a little Everybody's garbage can in. you put the baby poop into. Okay, in this round, you, have three <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know why it was really funny the way you said that. Room specifically, specifically designated <laughs> for waifus, flying, Tom Hanks, Kid Rock, or pooping, silly. Tom Hanks and Kid Rock in the same place. No one's ever photographed them together. I gave all my points to Tom Hanks. That'd be I wild, like man. Right? <laughs> What if they're both Leonardo DiCaprio doing some catch me if you can kind of shit? Mm. Dude, I got 40 minutes under The Departed. It's pretty good. I remember watching that in pieces when I worked in the movie theater. So I would go in and just like stand there for three minutes. Yeah. What is it like to work in a movie theater? It's fine, you know. It's it's like a it's a kid job. It's a teen job where you're. It's just, it's just like working any other like convenience store job or mm. fast food gig, except except you're giving people movie tickets. See, what I Dude. would think is, like, after they close the movie theater, they'd be like, hey, we're running the movie for one more show for all the staff. But I'm imagining that that doesn't actually happen. I got, no, I mean, like, it wasn't really a party. It was sort of just, I mean, my bosses were not happy where they were, and it was pretty obvious, oh. and they all just sort of did went through the motions. I'm not going to be able to find a lot of humor in this. I'm realizing what I'm yeah, telling so. these anecdotes. Tell me more. I can pivot. <laughs> Dude, I can tell you. I can tell you. Tell you more. I got a movie anecdote since we just went to two movies yesterday. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, the first movie, I literally, we literally could have just stolen the tickets mm -hmm. because there was no one at the. You know the the thing up That's front the that the person's supposed to check yeah. tickets, and that happens all games. the time where I go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was just Dude. pissed because I was like, I could have just saved, I could have saved a bunch of money. I just walked into that fucking movie. Well, let oh, me blow your mind. Supported the people who made the movie. Well, you could yeah. steal anything from anywhere <laughs> if no one's there to catch you. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. not just at the movie theater. Let me jump in real quick because one time I was working at that position on a Sunday when no one was showing up. I literally fell asleep at the position. Oh. <laughs> Somebody had to come and knock on the glass and be like, hey, can we get a ticket? They're getting all our movie juice for free. <laughs> and then the other anecdote is going to make you all very angry at me. Oh, um, no. But because, because last time I brought this up, people were like very against me where I was just like, where I said, you know what, like straight up, I would, pr if they let me, if I could have watched Avengers Infinity War at home and paid for it, I would have done it instead yeah. of watching it at the movie theater because I don't envy the, I don't, I don't, I don't wish for the movie theater experience. Um, and the reason is because when, when we went into Avengers Infinity War yesterday, there was the entire movie, there was just a chirping sound the whole time. It was just like, <laughs> breep, 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 breep for like three hours, all right? And wow, that sounds awful. There was a child behind us that every time a character came onto the screen, which was a lot because it's the most <laughs> ambitious crossover in it. Every time a character was like, that's Loki. Like, God, kill me, kill me. And he's, yeah, he's like, this is the part where Loki, well. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty awful. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna double- Alright, fuck it, I'm doing it. Doubling down in the worst possible way. This is- I just- I'm I think I know this. which one you got, too. I'm gonna regret this, man. Holy shit. I, di I didn't go very far on it, so I think you're gonna win. Mm. This is the good news. Listen, Rob. <laughs> what if he was explaining what was happening on screen to a blind show. person? Right, yeah, okay, yeah, that could, could be, could be, it's possible. So my movie anecdote is that the last one I went to, they had a commercial before it. Uh, go ahead and read the prompt. A really odd thing to say on your deathbed. Bye, bitch, or you gonna eat that looking at own dick. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> this sounds like me, but I didn't write it. They had a commercial before the movie for Regal Cinemas, uh, which is the, the the group, the movie theater that I went to. Mm. And it was apparently made by two girls in Minnesota or something. And they were like showing off how proud they were that they made this movie. And then at the end, it was just them at saying, do you want to get a start in the movie industry? Work at Regal. Hmm. Yeah, seems misleading. Hmm. That's not how that's that works. I, yeah. yeah, that's not how. Yeah. I wouldn't say that well mo movie theaters are the movie industry exactly. Yeah, popcorn industry for sure. Yeah, the worst name for a mountain. 
Iafiala Yokel or Ricky? I'm glad you did that in Norwegian. Hey, I, I will not stand for these stabs at the Icelandic culture. <laughs> there, I have a question. Yeah. Did you answer the same thing for both of your prompts? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's going to be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm into it, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I didn't like that movie theater experience very much. Oh, sorry, man. That's I don't blame you. It sounds awful. I'm just yeah. waiting for the pronunciation again. And I'm glad it's not on this one. A crazy thing to find during a colonoscopy. Your family or Norman fetus? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like that. Did you know that that Pizza Pasta song is about a volcano? The one dun 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 um, no, sorry, I, I didn't know, know that pasta is, you know. so I'm, I'm not sure if I... <laughs> pizza, pizza, pasta! pasta put it in yeah. a box, deliver it to my house, and put it on my cock, my cock, my ass hug. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Those are the canon lyrics? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> those are the meme put lyrics. It on my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock. <laughs> yeah, funiculi funicula. Mmm. Dude, being an opera singer is all sorts of fucked up. I know it's not really opera, but... Something you should never, say, you should to never say to your mother. Is this it? <laughs> you gonna eat that? Looking at own dick. It's no switcheroo! Yeah. <laughs> or, I'm your father. Yeah. yeah Alright. <laughs> is anyone in chat, like, an opera singer? Why? Do you ever, do you yeah, ever get pissed? I it out as soon as you said that. They make you sing in whatever language the opera was originally written in? Right, yeah. So you have to be like pan-lingual. Yeah, well, I mean, you probably just have to recite the words. I don't think you need to know what they mean necessarily. You tell me? Oh, wow, there's there's literally hundreds of opera singers in chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Despacito, that doesn't make me, you know, someone who Dude, did Spanish. you hear they announced Despacito 2 at E3? Okay, next one. <laughs> A sign, a that, sign kid that your kid isn't, isn't good, good at sports. sports. He's the star of home movies, or he asked if the goalie was fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yeah. I know that reference. That's an internet thing. Despacito. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ryan, remember this one? Mm. It's my mashed potatoes. Once a week, that worms its way back into my brain. <laughs> That, and especially that. the part where she says it's the one dish everybody hates, which is just an arbitrary <laughs> rhyme because everybody <laughs> loves mashed potatoes. The line doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why didn't she just say everybody yeah. loves? Can, can I just say, by the way, that doesn't rhyme with potato, bear. Yeah, but that's like <laughs> the level of quality they aspire to. <laughs> by the way, that's a fucking 4chan meme, you posers. You chat, you mean posers. Captain <laughs> Crab, can I can I put your comment up for debate? Because I kind of want to discuss what you just mentioned, but I don't know. It, you might get shredded. I don't know yet. No, please. Oh, I'm ready to shred well, you called him out by name, so let's, let's do it. Uh, I will say that movie theaters are useful for understanding the industry, though. Theaters make about a dollar on your ticket uh, as the studios set the cost and take most of the profits and yet are critical to the success of the film working there does give you a good perspective on how to do the politicking of the movie industry hmm. the politicking the politicking you're flooding the shit out of me for this <laughs> yeah i, I, I was trying to read it and it kept scrolling up that's why i kept pausing uh any opinion rob uh <laughs> As someone who I mean, went to high school with Zazzy Beats, <laughs> what's your input on this? Hey, I'm a, I'm a big film nerd. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like, maybe if you're in management, I suppose. But I like I don't think you're going to be dealing with the license agreements with, like, AMC or anything. So, uh, I don't know. It seems silly. Like, I don't think you're going to learn any, uh, what's it called? Hollywood, uh... Hollywood Knights, Bob Seger. Yeah, Hollywood no, I, I meant Hollywood <laughs> Accounting. <laughs> the worst name for a country singer. Jean-Pierre Beyoncé or Despacito? <laughs> name three famous Bobs that aren't Saget. Bob Seger. Bob Dylan. Richitelli. Bob, Bob Dylan. Hope. Bob Hope. All right, good job. Just keeping you honest. 
Bob Barker. At any point in your life, somebody could come up to you and ask you to name three things that are in common with <laughs> one thing, but you can't say the obvious one. <laughs> Welcome to Code Names. <laughs> Name three foods that start with L. None of them are lasagna. Three foods that start with L. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought my brain died a little bit for a second there. Lemon uh, lasagna. <laughs> a really stupid idea for a phone app that would still make you millions of dollars. Putinier or emoji pool? Yeah, fair enough. Is that like What's emoji? emoji pool? Billiards or like? Yeah. Oh yeah, each ball is like an emoji face. Oh. I get it. But hear me out. You could play emoji pool in a pool. Mm. And? It's like how Zelda has multiplayer because you can discuss the ending with your friends. <laughs> 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 Do you guys ever catch the loach? I don't think I ever have actually. You never caught the loach? Okay, that was a very aggressive reaction. <laughs> That's what I nicknamed my penis. I thought of all people, you'd be the one that caught the loach first. I feel like I should have caught it because I loved the fishing in that game, and I could just sucked at it. And next, come up with a go name catch the loach. The yoga pose known to mankind. Come up with a name for the most difficult yoga pose known to mankind: the inward-facing dog or the interpose. <laughs> uh, you guys ever do yoga? Yeah. No. no. Yeah. More like noga. I did tai chi once. Does that count? Kinda? Almost. It's like basically yoga. <laughs> I think Rob needs some yoga is what it sounds like. <laughs> She's so cold. Yoga fire! <laughs> you doing yoga, Bear? Uh, yeah. Not like actively, but I'm, I'm, you know, every now and then we do it. How is it? It's helpful. It's nice like you, you awaken parts of your body you didn't realize needed to be activated. Huh. Okay, you don't need to be a like uh, your eyes. <laughs> a weird like uh, your third eye. eye. Wonderful eyes. positive so energies and the auras that I've experienced are unlike any other. Did you ever do the one? I think it's called Bikram Yoga, where they put you in a like a sauna while you're mm. doing it. It's not like a Korean pop pop hot, song. That's, hot there's yoga. also hot yoga. Mm. But I think I think that's that. the same thing. A weird thing for the letters in your alphabet soup to suddenly spell out. You want some soup or pull out your own heart? <laughs> <laughs> I love that that idea. That's so hilarious to me. Hot yoga. Yanking your own heart out. Check it and see. Your yoga teacher is called something yogi. Uh, Come on, baby. Don't you do, do you more do than more dance? Than yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hot yoga. Hot yoga. <laughs> a name for a new cereal that's for that's for adults only. Fucky charms or dickos. <laughs> Ooh, Fucky Charms, pretty good. Quality yeah, content. Good. <laughs> They're always fucking me, Fucky Charms. <laughs> that's just a Rick and, or a Rick and Morty um, interdimensional cable right there. Mm. Oh, no, they already did that, though, with the, the ones with the eat and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, did, actually. Uh, By the way, the time. I'm the bathtub oh. guy. Yeah, you're gonna be <laughs> I, I knew it, I knew it, dude. But that doesn't matter, I'm the bathtub guy. I'm the guy in the yeah. bathtub. That's kind of your thing, right? You're the guy See, in the bathroom. See, the joke is he didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I hate you. I fucking hate you because you made me feel like a piece of shit for liking something. Did you laugh at the bathtub guy's part? Yeah, because it was yeah, funny. Totally you their fucking minds. asshole. Really? <laughs> they were totally and losing their minds. I wasn't because I'm cool. <laughs> but it's not like you it's were, a. You were all <laughs> That one. No, I wasn't like, losing my mind like you guys. It's not like it was a funny joke. It was just like I recognized that that's the way they talk on that show. Rick and Morty is really funny, but that was like that was like us making up a Rick and Morty bit. Our prompt is kind of. I'm not gonna have this discussion. Right now. Morty, Morty, I'm not, you I'm not throw your sister into the black hole. Well, that's really frigged up, Rick. Okay, I'll do it. You know. Hey. Hey, they would say the word in Rick and Morty. How dare you? <laughs> it's very true, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I can hear myself from the other room. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Oh, this requires so much thought. Hello, Ruby. <laughs> Really hope it How confident can you be in it, Ben? I got it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Fuck. Yeah, Fox. <laughs> Wait, I think down. people should be allowed to laugh at what they want to Fuck! laugh at, unless oh, it's impractical jokes. The cyberbullying is out of control. Someone said the thing I laughed at isn't funny. Oh my god, you two <laughs> dumb doofuses. <laughs> you know, hey, I was what? making a joke there, and I uh, was talked over. Did... Was... Me too, I'm the bathtub guy. Yeah. A word How that, should... A word that should be in the dictionary, but isn't. A.F. Yala Yokel? Frig? A. Uh, Gile Yokel? Or Christian? <laughs> Is this a meme that I don't know? Because why did you both have almost the same word there? <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed a meme. Okay. Yeah. So I, they both yeah. ended jokel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm impressed someone tried to spell it without looking at it and failed. If one of them <laughs> has like significantly more than the other, I'm gonna be so surprised. And one of them, one of them is in last. So wow. Get ready. <laughs> Wow. Oh, it was the Icelandic volcano. Okay, I tuned out on that part. Yeah, yeah. And the other one wasn't second? <laughs> he spelled it wrong. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, and that would be so mad if that one won. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> if it was one was last, it was first. See, in my head, dominated. I yeah. thought you both just mashed the keys and somehow had almost the oh, same that word. that would be amazing. I'm pretty sure that's what Bear initially did, it's to be over. honest with you. <laughs> I didn't do that initially. <laughs> Chad, there is did a place know? for Ricky Gervais being the bathroom guy, but I'm not sure if it's the time or the place right now. <laughs> but the jokes are percolating in my head. He would half-heartedly apologize for having a dick, in case that offended you, because <laughs> he seems like the kind of person who would think that that's incendiary in 2018. I'm so right, okay, yeah. you know what, I'll just do the bit. Right, yeah, yeah, it. It, yeah. <laughs> Insults a lot of people. Let's go. Oh, yeah. It oh, okay. starts like that. That's how he talks. Fits right, are the yeah. funniest when you describe the bit instead of just actually. <laughs> right, yeah. Doing it. Oh, yeah, I'm the bathtub guy. <laughs> That's not how he sounds. Goy. <laughs> I'm the bathtub guy. <laughs> 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 Let's do this. Oh, yeah, no, no. I'm the bathtub guy. <laughs> 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 See, this would be worth it. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. I didn't have anywhere to go from there, so. Right. Hmm. Oh, I'm the bathroom guy! <laughs> Starts with oh, a big hello. snake. Oh, I'm the bathroom guy! <laughs> How's it going, lads? Hmm. Oh, I like this prompt a lot. This is a great, great prompt. Do you think the game will be good? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think like, those guys are... Well, that guy. He's funny. The trailer was really bad, though. In my opinion. I do! I really actually do. But that was like, ah, uh, you know, the trailer's due tomorrow. Oh, E3's tomorrow? That really snuck up on me. Alright, just shoot me as the bathtub guy. That seems like a bit that you would do with your friends when you're like 15. Yeah. Do the bathtub guy. I love the, love the guy in the bathtub. <laughs> Kills every time. <laughs> hey Ryan. Oh no. Scientists say erosion, but we all know the grand... Scientists say erosion. But we all know the Grand Canyon was actually made by underpaid artists or dinosaurs. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <sighs> You know who it was actually made by, though? Ooh. The bathtub guy. Oh, God, why did I? <laughs> I, I didn't even expect it. I didn't I, I actually no, didn't, I didn't expect, expect it. it. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad that I didn't expect it. Because you thought we pivoted, but we didn't. Yeah, I'm really yeah. mad. No, I, I got to get better at identifying the pivots on this show. It's <laughs> yeah. Really should have. You can no. hear the rusty nut turn if you listen close enough. You know who's really good <laughs> at pivoting? No, see, he's gonna pivot again. He's gonna subvert yep. my expectations. He's, right, I was he gonna does. say a basketball player. <laughs> oh, a rejected crayon color. Dick sludge purple or haha -ha racism. <laughs> Own up. Did you guys call it skin color when you were a when you were a kid? Austin did. What? I, def I definitely did. I always called the peach pencil crayon skin color. Mm. Um. Yeah. Probably. I mean, like, I guess that's just born out of not really having a, an understanding of why that would be offensive, right? Yeah. Uh, I grew up in a very diverse environment, so <laughs> well, I, okay. mm -hmm. I, I still don't understand why it's offensive. 
I'm just joking. What if you just said a skin color? <laughs> My skin color, I guess. Right. Yeah. And then be offended at what they hand you. Right. Really? <laughs> Oh, my skin is bright pink, huh? <laughs> Invent a new word for the toilet that sounds like it's from Shakespeare. Wally Wonger or feces upon Avon? Avon? Second no. one has to be Ryan. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not that many of us, but it just sounded like you. And I voted for it. Nice. Chad, in North America, Avon is the thing that middle-aged ladies in the suburbs go around door-to-door -door and sell. So I don't know how it's pronounced. You know, I actually want to know, like, is is that still a thing? Yeah. They still do Avon? Next up, well, it's various products. It's not just Avon. I thought that was like a... Avon, I suck your butt! <laughs> oh, someone in my chat says my mom does Avon. Well, yeah, there you go. go. Still, still happens. Take any well-known restaurant and slightly change its name to something inappropriate. Taco Hell or Contalo Fried Clits? Yeah, all right, I like it. it said slightly, slightly inappropriate. Slightly change its name. <laughs> yeah, slight change. Just a little, uh, a little touch right. of moderation there. Taco Hell has to win just for sticking to the rules better. No, no, this is just a little tiny change in the name. <laughs> also, I have, a, I have a side question about Avon. Yeah. Is it a pyramid scheme? Probably. See, I don't know. Yeah, go cantaloupe fried clits. <laughs> because sure. they, but is it? Because I don't. We had an Avon lady in our town, and she yeah. never tried to come around and be like, "You should sell Avon." She yeah. always came around and was like, "Buy some lotion." Mm. She was never like, "If I get fifteen people working under me, I get to be, a, I get a yacht." Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you might only be seeing the lowest <clears throat> tier of the multi-level marketing, so mm. you'd think it wasn't stratified, but it is. Or she was just really bad at it, maybe. Maybe. Pick any city name and make it sound dirty. Aston or Shititsko? Aston. Shai Titsko? Yeah, that works. Doesn't really, like, work, though, does it? No, that's sort of the point. Do you guys yeah, know right. anybody mired in MLM hell? Not MLM hell, by the way. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. <clears throat> I know a few. I wouldn't say they're mired in it though. I'd, I'd say like blissfully participating. Are Man, they on like the third tier? <laughs> yeah. Do they have the yacht yet? Or the they pink, don't have the yacht yet? The pink card. Yeah. Do they have a vision board? Point values are I think so. They might have a vision <laughs> card game though. Do they try? Do you guys want to go in on me with a, a timeshare? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Fuck it. I don't even need any more information about it. Pets, thank you for being here. You're probably off work, but uh, I can't run ads, and I'm going to need this handled stat. I need this to be... It's put it on the sprint for yesterday. Fix is Dude, in the works. All right. Thank you. That was like the one standout thing that my old boss from that machinery company said to me <clears> that made me realize, oh, this dude's an asshole. Oh, no. What? He, he told me that needed to be done yesterday. Oh. And I'm like, oh, and you're did like, it? Well, then you should have told me about it four days yesterday. ago. <laughs> 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 hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, how do you spell the volcano again? <laughs> <laughs> Just remarkably different answers for me. You guys want to start a pyramid game, Colt? <gasps> oh, <that's laughs> a great idea! <laughs> start a Bro, pyramid we... game, Colt. <laughs> you know the orgy idea? Can we subcontract out other people to do the orgy idea and we just get paid for it? Just add on more steps. There you go. Pyramid, <laughs> pyramid scheme cult orgy. It sounds like it would work. Dude, oh, if we can just make an acronym for it, I think we're in business. Yeah, and then you just become evangelists, too. Yeah, a rejected Monopoly piece. Fidget spinner or low-income worker? <laughs> Each franchise owner can pick their own style of mask for their own orgies. They can put their own personal like spin it. on yeah. it. I'm into it. I saw one, because I was on anti-MLM. 
It's one of my favorite. Not anti mlem Don't worry. Awesome. But, uh, I already used that joke. Um, the same joke. Was the same. <laughs> and there was somebody that was like they're selling essential oils, but they did it in like the most idiotic way possible, where they're like, "Such a shame that Anthony Bourdain left us so young. If only he had oh, used no. essential oils, he could have. We could have saved him." And you're like, "Wow, that's horrible." That's a real yikes right there. <laughs> Gotta give him a nice jobs. big hard yikes on CBD. that one. Yeah. A little known perk of being U.S. president. Making a lot of money or all the pussies to grab. Yikes. That's a fun word to say. Yeah. It's good, yeah. It's I mean, good. like, he's not wrong, but, <laughs> you know, it's really bad timing. <laughs> Neither of those were my prompt, chat. <laughs> <laughs> they always think it's me. Oh, man, I got a real divide. I'm trying to get between... better with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible name for a dragon. Dragonite or that one Icelandic volcano? Oh. If yeah. you had attempted the Ayo Yoko Lafayette, I'm gonna give it to him for that little bit of diapers. <laughs> it's like the it's the sound of the introduction to Rocco's Modern Life. I was born. I didn't watch that show, but man, did I like see the theme at least a thousand times. In the middle of the Rocco. <laughs> the unsexiest thought you can have. Big fat dude jacking it making tons more money, or I'm late on my taxes. Thunder. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> I'm going to need a clip for that one. I hope it sounded as good to everyone oh, in chat as it did for us. It was great for me. It was perfectly in sync. <laughs> How did you sync that up? Was there like a hidden drum beat I didn't hear? <laughs> he said the word and then we okay. yeah. 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 We know Well, you know what our cue is. All right. Next one. Dun, dun. Something you should not do. Well. I don't know what the next line is. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what can I do? I remember that uh, one. Goes, <laughs> How do we get two separate? Get in my house! <laughs> <laughs> Something you should not do while crowd surfing: your taxes or cover yourself in broken glass. Mm. Oh. oh man, I do want to try to challenge myself now, though, mm. with the taxes thing. Not the not the second mm. one. A lot more boring of the song. Taxes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's cold. I was cold. I think I'm your fucking ass. Okay, we'll see. Like the joke is taxes. taxes. Oh, yeah, audit even better. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at the scores. You don't have to change one line. I was shaking at the knees. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I come again, please? I remember now. Is it, every ACDC song is just about coming. Just with some... <laughs> and some optionally added element of criminality. <laughs> Highway to Hill? Highway to Hill! <laughs> the way you said it, I was like... What did he say? <laughs> Highway to Hill. Highway to Hill, all about coming. Shoot the thrill, I'll give you that. That's all about coming. Oh, yeah. Well, Thunderstruck is too. Thunderstruck is about, about it's, yeah. They it's meant some about ladies. the Omega nut. <laughs> He's talking about the best nut he bing, ever bing, had. Bing, 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 Might bing. be the most disgusting answer I've ever put <laughs> <laughs> in Quiplash history. Shook me all night long is absolutely about that one. Is just coming. that one's not even trying to like lie. Yeah. Like it's just You're very upfront. Now. Yeah. The most disgusting breakfast cereal: Dandruff flakes, cum flakes, smegma flakes, back flakes, Swedish skin flakes. Really covered every angle on that. So, I yeah, think. we got it. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Which one's the grossest? Smoking a pancake. Pong in a blinch. Smoking a backflake. 
You know what I don't like yeah, about ACDC is they have that song Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Yeah. If you That's ever come out with a song like that, come. you know that in real life, he must be the straight edge most motherfucker you've ever met. Because if that ever had to be played in court, it would not go well at all. <laughs> <laughs> he's thre that, he's wait, threatening to kill people. Again? The most, the, the most straight, edge the straight edge, edge most motherfucker <laughs> guy out there. <laughs> the brain overclock has become unstable. You know, you, you just put the, you put the four words out there, and then <laughs> your brains will just put them in the right order. <laughs> it's like when they give you those pages that are like, you don't need all the letters in the words. You can paint and just figure it out itself. Oh, that's so old school, because now it would be like, only was it, kindergarten students have a 90% success rate on this test, but only 4% of adults can do it. Post below if you did it. I did it. Post Malone. I did it. Too. Yeah, Post Malone, I definitely heard. <laughs> I said congratulations. His new album is really pretty good. I don't know any Post Malone songs. That's my impression of Dan singing a Post Malone song. Uh, okay, okay. With a little dyslexia joke thrown in there. Ooh, mm -hmm. spicy. I thought Post Malone was the guy that reads letters or something. What? He gets like letters in the mail and then he puts them on his blog and he's he just, like, this is inspiration. Did you just come different. up with that because he has the word post in his name? <laughs> I was gonna say. Maybe. <laughs> like, you thought it was that person, but you I think you just created that person in your head. Oh no, no, yeah, there's a YouTuber named Postman Malone. I remember, yeah. No, I, I, I'm a big fan of him. Score based on the percentage of so that isn't what he does? No, no he's, he's, he's a singer slash rapper. No, know. he talks over music. Oh. And then delivers the mail. <laughs> Alright, I like yeah. my idea better. Could he try that? <laughs> you should propose it to him, yeah. He's got the right name. He, he was on Twitch a few times. I bet he is familiar with you. Oh, wow. That's, that's an honor. Yeah. I mean, Ninja's been on Twitch a few times. You think he's familiar with me? Oh, sure, yeah, of course. He knows where his competition's coming from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ryan, he can actually sing. So I just want to make people mad. Here's one for you. Hey, you really good fuck, at that. fuck, uh, fuck John Lennon. Wow, hey, hey, man. Jeez, dude. What's your dude. deal? Here's my impression of John Lennon. Oh, I was in the Beatles, yeah. Wow! <laughs> oh, it's me, John Lennon! I was in lads! What have I done lately, eh? Nothing. Yeah, Nothing. the Beatles are good, but they haven't put out a new album lately, so it's like, what are they yeah, even worth? Yeah, what have I done for me lately? Oh, hello, I'm John Lennon! <laughs> <laughs> now do a Yoko Ono impression. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now I'm Yoko Hey, everybody, I'm Yoko Ono. Oh, no, it's Yoko again. Hi, I'm back here to steal your boyfriend. Here to be blamed for breaking up the band once more. That's right, I'm Yoko. I don't like this lady. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Where's the best place to hide from the shadow monsters? Behind them or the dark? Dot, 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 dot. You know what? He's absolutely right about that, to be honest with you. I, I mean, you it. can kill every Dark Souls boss if you just go behind them, so I guess that's the right answer. I'm guessing you were the other one, dot, 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 dot. Wait, you wouldn't write dot, dot, dot. <laughs> that's too many dots. No, I would never write Three I have an internal dots. error. No ellipses for Who me. would use this? Only Austin would use this many He's dots. right. He's gonna. Yeah. It's still yeah. lost. Really? I mean, it's just true. You guys shouldn't be hiding from shadow monsters, Chad, to be honest. Fuck shadow monsters. <laughs> Would you Whoa. stop being so controversial? Hey, what the fuck, We're man? almost we're done with now. this show. Nine Watch Dogs 1 so is okay. There are people with feelings, Jesus. too. I'm sorry, Chad. This guy just gets out of control at the end of the show. America's Jesus. energy crisis would be over if we made cars that ran on dead road shit or tweets. Oh, yeah, there you go. What is a road shit? <laughs> Most yeah, when you get out of the car and... <laughs> what was what was the actual series of words? The straight edge most motherfucker. Straight edge most motherfucker. 
you know, it's the only place that I'm aware of where you just drive past things that have just, they're dying and decaying all around you, and nobody even pretends they're there. They're just, just there. What are you supposed to are do? Talk, what is a dead road shit? Roadkill? Roadkill. Yeah. Dead yeah. things. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Dead animals just laying around. Put it, pick it up and put it in your trunk? Or do you like <laughs> toss it, little, it over the fence or something? The city, I think. Take a little grave for it up. and say a oh, prayer and wish it a happy afterlife. The worst, na the worst <laughs> name for a summer camp. Crystal Lake or Camp Just Sign the Waiver. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, I'm John Lennon! No, oh, it's John Lennon. Hey, I'm here to sing a song! What a coincidence, I'm also named John Lennon. I was in a band yes, you love. might know as the Beatles. <laughs> I was that John Lennon over there. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm John Lennon. I really like the idea of a bit where four people do a really bad John Lennon impression. And then they, at the end of the bit, they all get ready to sing and they all sing at the same time and they go, oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot we're all John Lennon. Oh, and I'm 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 the bad top guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, John Lennon is the bad guy. <laughs> oh, it's me. I'm laying in bed again. I'm the bad guy. Something you'd love to smash with a wrecking ball. My nuts are another wrecking ball. I need some newts and frog tails. <laughs> I'm Rango Star. Hi, oh, Rango. <laughs> it's me, George oh, Harrison. <laughs> Rango Star. <laughs> Rango Star. Oh my God. Rango Star. Yeah. Coming up next. He hangs out with Postman Lowe. The, <laughs> the second thing said on the moon. It's Did you bring a phone charger or cut? Ah! Oh! <laughs> hey. oh. Uh oh! This is my one small step for man. <laughs> no! <laughs> I need to <laughs> <laughs> You want to be the revolution? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, love the Beatles are here. Just so much. It's just a little bit closer to the microphone with every impression. <laughs> Cheers, love! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's me, George Martin. <laughs> he is American. Remember me, mean. your producer? Yeah. <laughs> That's round one. It's me, Ricky Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, shit. We're not even doing jokes anymore. No, no. it's just like really <laughs> bad impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Were we ever? Yeah. I just got one. Why do I watch this show? Lol. Yeah. That's, that's fair, honestly, yeah. I saw a best bit immediately followed by a worst bit in chat oh. at some point. So the I'm duality. Like we're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh. oh shit. <laughs> the effort that just went into my round. Do I do this one? On do John I, Lennon. I'm, I'm gonna get a groan. I'm just saying, I'm gonna get a groan for this answer. I'm slowly right. answering it. All right. That's fair. I'll it's a deserved a groan. groan, too. So, but, you know. My answer's gonna give you a few moans. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And then, my final answer, I'm gonna get a loan. Ooh. <laughs> hey. You guys want to buy some pants? Also, you want to know what my name is? Let's take a look. Later tonight, I'll get a bone. <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's long jaggings. <laughs> okay, everyone. I'm long uh, jaggings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Funnier than Power Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Something you promised to yell if you win this game. I'm John Lennon, or oi, it's me, John Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I think even the people begging for this, this to end deep down can appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> Apropos of nothing at all, can anyone do a Captain Jack Sparrow impression? I can't do that, oh, but I can't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for not missing uh, the beat there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for other fellow investors. I'm opening a comedy inn, if anyone would like to join me. <laughs> you know you're in for a bad taxi ride when you do a string of crimes and can't leave, or they offer you a tenor to jack it. Yeah. I'm so pedantic, because <laughs> Jamie Foxx didn't... He wasn't in a taxi ride. He was driving the taxi. <laughs> what is, what is Get out of here! <laughs> you completely understood the reference, he so it's was, valid. He was the driver, though. I don't care. <laughs> Postman loans comedy in. <laughs> the best way to defeat terrorism is owning your own citizens for 17 years or with more terrorism. Anyone, uh, oh, I'm one. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the first one. I'm gonna it. need you to uh, to put a little more effort into your jokes, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the oh, gone. That was just a cacophony of noise. <laughs> <laughs> That was my Tracer Jack Sparrow, and it was a little bit, a little rough. <laughs> I liked it. I think it was pretty good. Yes, more terrorism. <laughs> How do you like it? Oi, I'm John Lennon. Or, <laughs> or does it offend you? Yeah. <laughs> That don't impress me much. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the prompt is just horrible. <laughs> it's a bad prompt. <laughs> yeah. I feel it's like Whiplash good. always ends like this for some reason. <laughs> Hopefully, it really it's does. at least kind yeah. of funny. I don't know. Tends to. Yeah. This is the last LSS. <laughs> How would you fix the economy? Oi, John Lennon here. <laughs> or start a trade war with all our allies. <laughs> I'm so tired of winning. I just can't stop winning. <laughs> Oh man, this laughter is disguising the pain. <laughs> this is some good garbage. Yeah, yeah, it's quality. Yeah. Yum yum. A lot of winning. <laughs> you guys yeah, they've rebelled. Winning, How ironic! They've rebelled against John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was expecting a groan, not a win. To be honest. <laughs> That's what I mean by owning your own citizens for 17 straight years. It's weird because the American economy is great right now. Yeah, it pisses me off. Shit's fucked. Why is it going up? I mean, it's not really. Look at the graphs, man. I know about the graphs. You know what happens with the graphs, though. Do I? <laughs> or does John Lennon know what happens with You mean John Lemon? This <laughs> 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 fucking waste of our lives. <laughs> so, this is one of those shows where I'm like, we're gonna die one day. <laughs> and we spent we spent part of it doing this. <laughs> day well spent. I was having a shitty day before just now. I'm feeling great. <laughs> the worst theme for your kid's first dance recital. Agony, the Beatles, Long Jeggings, We Didn't Start the Fire, or Hey Jude. Yeah. Surprised there wasn't more uh Lennons. Just three. Just sixty percent. <laughs> 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 I'm giving all of mine to long jeggings. Yes. Yeah, me too, actually. That's a good point. Ooh. Compelling. Oh, it's my long jeggings! <laughs> I was, I oh. was going to do it. Yeah, you know. I just kind of had to at this mm. point. I hear you that it sucks that we spent our whole day doing this, but on the other hand, a bunch of people <laughs> laughed and had their days improved, so I think it's worth doing. I think we've helped. Did they laugh? I think the collective is better. 
You then... think this is my whole day? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just happy to make people smile. I got way more cringe left in me this afternoon. I wait. Oh, are you recording more Fortnite or something? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Roasted! Spicy! <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> oh, Rob, me, me and you tied for last on this one. Yeah! <laughs> good stuff, man. We did it. We beat Quiplash. <laughs> Nick does own your channel now. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's how it works. works. Why not? Yeah. You gotta hand it over. Well, it's, it, well, I took two days off last week, so I lost. 40,000 subscribers. You might so as well be right. done, yeah. <laughs> Buy low. I do you gotta also, be back uh, on the grind, though, right? <laughs> uh, rack attack, by the way. But hey. also, um, uh, what is is that a meme from something? Yeah, like Ninja tweeted and was like, if you're wondering why it's hard to be a streamer, I was away for two days <laughs> of this thing and I lost 40,000 yeah. subscribers. And Me too, people, actually. People were like, oh, that must be hard to only be making like, you know, $350,000 <laughs> a month minimum instead of 450000 <laughs> And then a lot of people were like, yeah, but it does raise an interesting question about what it's like to make your living on this platform where it does happen to smaller streamers as well. And uh -huh, uh -huh. as a result, it leads to the situation where people never want to take time off and somebody said shut up he's rich and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well summarized yeah. then somebody yes. jumped into my twitter feed and said hey what's it like to have a prime minister it's like john lennon what's it like to have a prime minister who has <laughs> fake eyebrows and i went what are you talking about <laughs> yeah it's nice you know he's got to worry about if he can you know afford his next ferrari <laughs> Small streamers gotta worry if they can pay rent. Yeah. It's Someone's the gotta thing. look out for. Is, why isn't anyone consumed for Ninja? Like, yeah. <laughs> but I think him, it huh? does raise a question about, like, you know. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta be concerned. Gotta he is him. very rich, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but still. That's true. I think Twitch should but bail him out for that. Honestly. I think, like, <laughs> if, <laughs> you, <laughs> I think if you take. I think if you take a day off. You should be able to submit that to Twitch, and then they just auto renew all the subs that would have expired that day in order to make it uh, fair that for the streamer. Reasonable. Oh, here, yeah, eat ninja. If we eat ninja, and then we can all get a part of his subs. That and makes we get sense. his power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. You're right, Chad. We say moi, Justin Trudeau. We <laughs> say moi, there. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Bienvenue, mon ami, John Lennon. You know, there's a special place in hell for Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Look, you're allowed to make the trade war joke, but this is a bar here, Rob. I thought it was a special place in hell for all Canadians. Uh, it's just like out. a more polite place in hell. Mm. Well, I mean, if you're going to burn down the White House, you deserve it. Fuck it. <laughs> Free Molson, but sign me though. The CB stands. <laughs> it works. Anyway, let's take some time to paper channels. Why don't we start with Bear Taffy? Hello, I am Bear Taffy. You can catch us on twitch.tv slash roundtable podcast. That's three of, uh, well, three of our four cast members are here now. Me, Nick, and Ryan. Uh, we're going to be talking about E3 and a lot more stuff on that podcast. Come on by. It's fun. A lot more stuff? Yeah. Well, okay, maybe not a lot more stuff. Maybe just next... like a bit more stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just say things, man. Don't, no, don't fine. literally interpret me. I, I just want to go vaguely, you know? I just want to kind of spit some words out and hopefully people catch the message in general. I mean, that's pretty much like what we do is we just talk for like a couple hours a day about nothing. And then... Well, I mean, in your case, it's usually like 12, but yeah. Well, 12 talk hours. about some, some topics. What about John Lennon's case? Also, why don't you pay your channel, Austin? Mm, Twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf playing Celeste for the first time. You'll play more tomorrow if you want to watch that. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Robert? Yeah, hi, I'm Rob. You can find me at all Pack Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also What's your flossing? <laughs> I got uh, my upper lip tucked in under <laughs> itself. <laughs> Why? 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 Why are you doing that? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I got a webcam on, and now it's full screen because it's the end of the show, and uh. so I'm looking at my face, and I have to pull a funny face <laughs> because I'm contractually obligated. obligated, obligated, obligated. Uh, yeah, if I it's not hard to say that without an upper lip. Um, all right, I'm going to take my upper lip, and I'll see how hard that is. Contractually obligated? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, you can find me at Alpac Ritual everywhere. Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also, Discord.com slash, excuse me, Discord.gg slash Alpac Ritual. Uh, we do movie night every Saturday. Movie. Um, yeah, we're going to watch a movie this Saturday. It'll be a fun time. Um, and uh, we're probably going to stream some Dark Souls Remastered on Jess's channel at some point. So mm. that'll be fun, too. And yeah. It's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to get Rob. I'm afraid to hear about it. Nicholas. I say, Rob, I say we rebrand. I think you could double viewership if you just call it Booby Night. Mm. You think so? Mm, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. And then actually. just put like two ladies kissing mm. as the thumbnail. Yo, it's working for Is us. It working? Is it working? Are we time. at a million yet? I Not mean, yet, but I think that's tomorrow, probably. Sick. There are four tits right here, right now. So, I mean, it's ready to go, to be honest. Four tits right here. about yours and mine? No, I'm talking about my breasts and Jessica's. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. You Accidental click uh, yeah. Hey, everybody, you can check me out here at twitch.tv slash roundtable. That's me. I'm there. Uh, <laughs> slash Rockley Smile. It got hot in here, so my brain's a little drifty right now, as you probably figured out. <laughs> Uh, I'm still doing the choose your own adventure on Twitter. So if so you want to do that, uh, our protagonist uh, opened a steel door and got knocked out on a wall and then woke up in a crazy science room. So you'll never know what happens next, but you can help decide. Uh, I actually have to make a new poll. And you can follow me there at Rockley Smile. It's the same everywhere. And NLSS VODs and more on youtube.com slash Rockley Smile. Uh, I might do something after the stream. I'm going to talk with Lynn about it in a minute. So, you know, stop by if you want. Thanks for watching. Cool. You're welcome. Thanks for laughing at our stupid jokes, too. I'm really glad the last part of the stream completely overshadowed the second part and first part. <laughs> <laughs> you think it I did? I still want to know, honestly. Or we'll find out. <laughs> is is the, the thread up yet? <laughs> I feel like the more people enjoy it in chat, the worse the Reddit thread ends up being. There's like a yeah. there's a weak correlation between it. Whenever I'm like, oh, the show was kind of lackluster, the thread is always like best show in weeks. Right? Yeah. No, I agree with you, honestly. Can't we just fluff the thread right now? Uh, well, oh, I think on. we just did. Maybe, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, no, no like, it's not like, up yet. We can't uh, like do on the show. Damn it. They like to do like what we don't say though. So now they're not gonna fluff it. Mm. Oh, but what if me chat. saying that makes them fun? Like it's a, it's infinite recursion. Like I, what do we do? do Our they... self worth is surprisingly tied up in Reddit threads, so you guys should all vote on how good the show was. What would they do if John Lennon told them to upvote a thread? Mm. Ooh, what's oh, a wait. thread? I thought That's understood. against Reddit TOS. We can't do that. <laughs> what's a TOS? I'm a lad from Liverpool. No, breaking the law is not cool, Ryan. <laughs> it's shows like these that wonder, make me wonder why like we get appreciation posts ever. No, the show wonders too. No, you get appreciation posts because there's always like one dude hates each one of us individually. And it's a different dude for each one of us. And they True, always, yeah. and every time they're like, good show. They're like, well, it would be a good show except for this person. Right, yeah. And then they post like an essay length diatribe and then they go down votes really okay. and then you make the appreciation thread <laughs> has there ever been someone that was like this would be a better show if ryan wasn't on it because i've never seen that <laughs> yeah i don't think i've seen that either honestly i see <laughs> it in my own chat though people um there was that one dude <laughs> It happens every time we get into something even like mildly political. They're like, well, oh, I wonder when NL got blue pilled. And then right. <laughs> oh. that's been happening. I take like, one blue fault. pill and one red pill every day just to keep me perfectly balanced. Oh, that's, that's how you good, end up. Yeah. I think that's called taking the black pill. <laughs> you take your brown pill. <laughs> I think it makes your balls fall off, Barry. You should be careful. No, oh, fuck. Anyway, I'm going to hang up. Perfect. All right. Good All right. Thanks for having me on. Oh, this is, yeah, of course. Uh -huh. It won't be. I don't know what he was. I think he was saying I wasn't gonna be there tomorrow. But man, if you can remember it, you weren't really there. That's not a good John Lennon impression. Oh, my brain is melting. Kate, are you in chat? Not in chat. Just give it a second. 
Let me see if she's going to be live. She was. She doesn't appear to be anymore. Hello. Kate's going to be live. Twitch.tv slash lovely momo. She's going to be playing some Jurassic World... She's on island number two, Jurassic World Evolution. Yeah. Do you have a dinosaur named Ruka? No. Wow. Sorry, buddy. Tomo? No. Are they just called like SR001? No. What are they named? You'll only know if you watch my show. Ooh, she's a good saleswoman. She said, You'll only know if you watch my show. Twitch.tv slash Lovely Momo. I'm going to read out many names. Foxtrot Papa, Epicburg, Grand Mages, Preaching Amigo, Doker, Galactashaft, the Planet Pounder, Max CDFG, Pixelated Zeus, Zaldera Purge, Apu, Deaf Mute 286, Tech Tai Toe, The Chosen One, 311, Daisu 81, Demons on Pacto, Foxtrot Papa, Zack Attack 1, Neurotic Vows, Periodic 15, Mayday, Dater Gator, Rails the Great, Casey Granny Sue, Hishbojalad, Hishbojalad, Ruski Jukes, Zack Attack 1, Craigor 001, I Grimm's Evil 66, Deer Toucher, Windstar 95, PK Anti, Vertex Zero, Smokra 109U, Squared Error, F Snow Zombie, J Rogiman, Britain 477, Hey Tajo, Mama's Lanish, I don't know if I got that one right. Liquid L, Wango, Reef94, Croils, Gruzik, Triple Wieners, Langatriel, A Flying Toaster, Mildly Impolite, Barter07, Vinny Skirch, Soggy Owl, Starkle6, Respected Magician, Takuya2, what a wonderful phrase, Demo Version 00, Turtle King, Turtle the King, I should say, GMC112, Play Corruption of Champions, Honkel, Uronsky, Cruise Fest, T-Bow Gilo, Percolator, 79, Justo, 2401, Too Fat to Pogo, Daddy's Egg Juice, Bodacious Bandit, Flozor, 91, The Squad Father, Sentu, 22, Soul Shocks, Ardsnark, CSOXOO, Jacobian, Play Corruption of Champions. What is Corruption of Champions? Because now you've piqued my interest. Many bit donations, and then the Corruption of Champions guy gets $200,000 a month on Patreon. Seems good. It's a porn game. <laughs> $200,000 a month? It's like CD Projekt Red levels, dude. That's crazy. Just go for it? Mm, no. Sasori Sasori, Matt500396, General Casualty, Northern Lions Hair, Sub the Tank, Sub the Tank, Casper Cunner Up. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Northern Lions Hair, Chartreuse Enway, Reversed Gravity, Sprock, Voli612, Seed Eater as a pastime activity, Sprock gifted a sub to Turkey Tugger89, <laughs> Churchy Banana, Bloopsy, Ideal Alex, Zombie Schoolgirl, Mr. Vidig. Biggest Boy 94, Mobius Reactor, Detention, Kaleftor, Stark Raving Mad, JGO1, Flapjack234, Bismuth K, XC Static, Daffodwills, Inoknox, who's there? The Reverend Killjoy, Northern Lions Hair, gifted a sub to I Hate Ryan Stream. Northern Lions Hair, gifted a sub to I Hate You Ryan. I always thought it's best to be feared, second best to be liked, and third best to be hated but compensated financially at a disproportionately generous level for your content regardless. And fourth, to be ignored. Yggdrasil, Tal Warlord 196, Happy Porcupine, Northern Lions Hair, gifted a sub to Frick Austin Shut Up, Zan Copper, Lava Wolf, Stock Hut, Sub the Tank, Nerdy Act 2, Slothy 222, Buddies, Dutch Gudakas, Zedai Heranisa, Angustiazos, Tim Pokemon 89, Hansona 29, PK Freezing, Azagogno, 
Dusik5694, Jimbo JJ26, Total Bread Roll, Dr. Nukularpu, Picks the Vikings, Zonkek, CT Nasty Man, Mr. Potato Daddy, Streetlight Manifesto, Culprits SB, That Hollow Guy, Mr. Blue Scry, Okris, Rob Boberts, Irradiation, Salty the Rower, Tim VVS. Thank you guys very much for watching. Things you made never to watch without Adblock. And subscriptions, cheers, and etc. etc. So for now, Kate's gonna be live twitch.tv slash lovely momo playing Jurassic Park Evolution, the Jurassic Park Park Building Simulator. Similar to a game like Park Tycoon, Park Architect, Park Simulator, Theme Park World, Park Park Revolution, the perks of purveying a park. <laughs>